Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 mm -hmm. games. Make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second because that's what we broadcast at. Otherwise, you are missing half the show and half the games. Half the sprites. You don't want that. It looks terrible. <laughs> it just looks terrible. Um, we've got five games today. This is Tanya, by the way. Hello. If you can't read her name. <laughs> Um, uh, we've got Crazy Tunes by Omega Matrix. We had a game from him before. Yeah. He, we've been playing a lot of Omega Matrix, haven't we? We have. Um, well, we'll get into it, but okay. he, this is an older game from him, but he hasn't posted it before, so it's kind of new. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to be playing also another situation like that, Dive Kick by Blue Swimmer. Nice. Um, and we're going to be playing INV Plus, um, by Eric Mooney. That's from 1990. No, 2004. My mistake. I have wrong information here. That's what when INV was from, mm -hmm. not INV Plus, the sequel upgrade to it. Um, and we'll be taking a look at River Rampage, a kind of proof of concept work in progress by Eric Mooney that caught my eye. And we'll be taking a look at Pantheon. Uh, we have a exclusive work in progress update on that one. That's by Satyr's Faction. Mm. Welcome, everybody. Yes. Is it cold or is it warm? It is very cold. <laughs> it is a very cold beer. We are in Canada. It's a very good Belgian, we... strong Belgian ale. So, is is that a reality? Do they actually drink warm beer in Britain, or is that like, oh, oh? I've never heard that. Yeah, like room temperature beer. Why would you drink room temperature I don't beer? Know. I've heard that. <laughs> I've heard that. Is that like an exception? It's probably an exception. Yeah. Yeah. Hey everyone! Yep. Um, I want to I want to thank the Twitch subscribers who help support the show: Al Nefer, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles and Check, Dianoid, Gray Defender, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Janzelets and Janzel and L, Johnny WC23, Jupiter Storm 17. That's a new name. Carl G. Croco 2600, Cuba 6969, Mark Space Inc., MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strom, Pack Rat VG, RC70, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pym, Six Sweets, Sir Cat Legs, Socrates 0603. Spiceware, S. Ramirez, 2008, The D-Train, 37, The Washman, 89, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. And you wow. can see them down the side there. Wow. I think that's the most that, we've ever had. That's a mouthful. Yeah, I was going to say that's longer than usual. <laughs> and in celebration, I made a nice little graphic uh, for it. It says Twitch subscribers. Yeah, it is not homebrew. No. Um, uh, someone said some beers are best at room temperature like stouts. Actually, I can see that. I can see yeah. like the very um, dark ales and stouts. I can see that, but I still do not. I know. Yeah. There's the joke. Is that, <laughs> is that beer homebrew? It is not homebrew. Uh, it's probably not made in somebody's house. But we do have a lot of local true. breweries. So it's Actually, made in somebody's yes. I think it might have been a local small local brewery, but I, <laughs> I do not think you would describe it as homebrew. My dad no. used to homebrew uh and uh it was terrible. So <laughs> um I'm not saying there can't be good homebrews, but uh Except uh, on this show. But yeah. That's not it. <laughs> this is not no <laughs> Um, and you can support the show and subscribe for free, too, if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime. Oh, too high. Twitch, Twitch, Twitch Prime. Over there, around there. Smack 22 me Twitch in the Prime. <laughs> um, <laughs> and click subscribe. Also, right. make sure you follow and subscribe and click on like on all the things. Twitch, YouTube, Facebook. Hi, everybody who's watching on YouTube. Uh, Instagram and Twitter. Um, mail, news, and feedback. Um, I first off want to thank um, everyone for the huge support um, uh, the show gets from the community. Mm. I am just continually blown away by uh, by it, and I don't think I acknowledge it quite enough. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, um, Trebor uh, from the Atari Age forums messaged me the other day and helped me out with a new beta version of the Atari seventy eight hundred oh. uh, emulator. Oh. Because we've been playing some 7800 yes, games, yes, yes. and we were—I was complaining about the high-pitched noise that it makes every time Very, it turns on. Yeah, yeah. So he sent me um, a new beta version of it of of the emulation software, and he had tweaked a couple things in the INI file and turned off that noise, mm. which is really, really nice. Mm. That's amazing of him. Yeah, I wonder why I was doing that in the first place. Like, I—I I mean, that's the noise it makes when you. I'm sure when you turn it on without a cartridge. Oh, I see. I so see. So they're being okay. very, very so complete. Being, I see. Okay, that and makes sense. And that's the yeah. proper way to do it. Yeah. They never had a 7800, so I would not know that. 
this so. one over there somewhere. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, personally growing no, up or anything. No, not like many that, people did. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. Um, yeah. And of course, Nathan Strum is helping repair the RGB Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Want to thank him, mm-hmm. Al Al Yuruso Albert from Atari Age. Mm-hmm. That's that's his Atari Twenty Six Hundred. So nice. We're of playing him to- on you know donate it for a little while while yeah to have something to use and, um yeah. and the 2600 and 7800 developers regularly show up to the yes. show into the live chat and they also give world exclusives of their games for us to play yeah and it's just really really amazing yeah um and the viewership of the show is growing steadily all the time yeah so it's really really awesome i thought i just wanted to thank everybody yeah. for for everything that everybody's doing it all adds up to to a fun show for everyone, for us, and hopefully for you out there as well. Yeah, and and I think especially in the last little while, we've seen s- such an explosion on the chat as well during the show. Oh yeah, that a lot of people have just been around and and interacting with us in the mm-hmm. in the show and um, giving suggestions people. and helping us out. Yes, and correcting us when we get things wrong. And, well, we want to make sure um, we give out the right information. But it's really nice that people feel engaged mm-hmm. with the show, which I I uh, I think. Yeah. You know, you've you've been doing it obviously every week, twice a week for, <laughs> for a very long time. Two and a half but years almost, yeah. Even for myself, you know, just popping in. I've been doing it a lot in the last little while, but yeah. usually it's just once every two weeks. But even yeah. I notice how much support, you know. Oh, we all love you love, too, VH. Love, let's see. Yeah, all the love <laughs> that comes out. So it's it's something I really yeah I really enjoy doing. You know. Yeah, and, and the, so the, do with I. The or I wouldn't do it with the community <laughs> here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what makes it worthwhile yeah. is everybody oh, tuning in. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> We don't need to talk to whoever that is. It's for you. Is it? You want to take it? No, no, no. Okay. I just wanted to see what the number was. Uh, it's gone. It's a local number. Oh, there's your watch. <laughs> I'm gonna check that. Are you okay oh, if I just? Yeah, yeah. yeah I have okay. some news to get through. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. <laughs> um, so I want to thank everybody, and I want to thank all the people as well who tune in live every week because that's a lot of fun getting direct feedback. Esther Mears 2008 is always here <laughs> and vh said c who's been showing up a lot dan abc is always here muddy funster just all these names are like always regular it's really really great splendid nut blue swimmer pack rat vg al nefer outrunner uh c uh, uh smitty b7800 um mk smith and all the people who are not typing and they are lurking and lurking's just fine um uh so the atari my uh my atari that was here that we used for a long time till it died the rgb atari is now in nathan strum's hands i may have reported that he just got it uh when we did the sunday show or maybe not um anyway he does have it now so let's take a look at how the repairs are going for nathan because he is kind of started ish started it let's see Oh, is that working? Let's see. There we go. Let's just scroll down before I switch it over. So there, I think that's fine. We can show that. Oh, it arrived. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. There we go. So, yeah, it arrived Monday. So this is new. Uh, Mm -hmm. We didn't say it on the show. Um, So he's started with a not uh, that's not mine (laughs) that's another one he's starting to get going so he has one to work off of and he has ones to part to get parts from because there's not much point in repairing one with possibly broken parts yeah so you need a good working one to work from because he might take you know chips out of this one to put in mine and this is also a six switch Mm. um could be a light or heavy probably a light six switch and he's got it hooked up to a v- PVM monitor there. What's it? Uh, Sony TU1041U. I don't have a PVM monitor, so I'm not really up to date with um, with all the different PVM monitors. Um, and he's got a nice output from that for um, for RF output anyway. I mean, you can see a little bit of chromatic aberrations going on there, mm-hmm. but still very nice for RF. Mm. No interference. He's got Pac-Man. Mm. Uh, he said, so James 2600 arrived intact with plenty of presumable biodegradable styrofoam mm-hmm. peanuts. I don't know. Pop them in your mouth. See if they de- <laughs> see if they see if they're biodegraded so. in your mouth. <laughs> Some of them might be. I, I don't know. I think most of them are. 
Um, and thank you for blacking out all the information. Yeah. That's always very nice. Yeah. And oh, it's such a beautiful one. Look at that. Look at those clean, a clean 2600. Very strong uh, kind of wood orange outline. Yeah. I really like that one. That's why I did modify it because I, I really like the look of it. And then there's the accessories I sent them and some extra parts. And there's the connectors to go out to RGB. So he said he didn't have anything that hooked up to SCART or JP21, which is what this outputs to, to my Frame Meister. Mm. Um, so he doesn't have any of that. So um, he says he's going to replace the hex buffer. That would be amazing if that's just it. Um, and he's going to remove and socket each of the chips. He's going to. He said he's going to tear out the RGB mm. and make it go back to scratch. Because that's what you do with any good thing, especially like computer repairs. You take out everything that's not necessary, unplug everything from the and then USB. And just, just go to the bare bones and see, see if, what is working. Yeah. yeah, see if it boots Yeah, just with the plane, then start building it back up. And then when you add something and it stops, you know, that's probably it. Yeah, it's like those allergy diets where you where you yes. cut everything out of your diet and then you like you eat, you eat, yeah, whatever it is. It you is. basically eat cabbage yeah. every day and then you slowly <laughs> add foods back mm. in or Cabbage. Actually, probably not even cabbage. I'm not sure that would help. Anyway. Yeah, something that's <laughs> super, super neutral. Yeah. yeah, rice and like chicken breasts or whatever it is. So. Yeah, I and he did rest. not lie about the hammer. Where's the hammer? Yeah, the hammer's in the first photo. <laughs> There's that hammer. He was not joking. Yeah, he said he was going to take a hammer to it. So. Yeah, so he hasn't. Yeah, it looks still pretty intact. <laughs> uh, the hammer. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. And for the re he said, for the record, James's reset switch isn't broken, but it sure looks tired. <laughs> That's some funny stuff. <laughs> and they're they're just debating about whether it's SCART or RGB, but I said, yeah, it's a JP21. So RG, RGB21 is another name for it. Um, and I said, uh, the reset switch is very well used. <laughs> And then he ordered a 8-pin mini DIN serial cable and VGA plus synced BNC cable from Atari because I guess his PVM hooks up through BNC, so he's going to have to break out the R, G, and B mm. so that it fits properly. Mm. Um, it won't be pretty because he's going to tear that apart and mm. make his own cable, but it should let me see your RGB mod on my monitor. Mm. So You can follow along uh, that whole saga in the uh, Atari Age forums in the uh, Zero Page Homebrew uh, Club. Um, so we have a club that uh, keeps it separated from everything else so it doesn't clutter everything up. Mm. That hammer was great, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it is very funny. It's a perfect ham hammer to destroy an Atari, oh, too. Yes. Perfect size. A solid wood what handle. What call it? Ball peen? Ball peen, yeah. yeah. No, they're usually quite heavy. They have quite oh, a they weight have a to lot them. of weight. So you yeah. Get a good swing yeah. in, yeah. get some momentum going. <laughs> um, so Socrates sixty three, who does usually uh, he's subbed. I don't, do, does he usually talk? I don't know if he talks, but anyway, he's subbed. Okay. And he's also watched. He made a comment on uh, YouTube on the YouTube channel mm. um, uh, about you. Uh, he said he left it on Saturday. He said Pine Mail three eighty six running Win three point X in mid to late nineteen nineties. Wow, Tanya, some serious nerd cred. Yeah. <laughs> she just did what she had to do. I did what I had to do. It's called university, man. <laughs> yep. It's all she had for, yeah. for a computer. Pine so. email. Pine Ugh. email. Ugh. And I remember Pine. specifically. It worked. Um, Doesn't it just scroll? It just scrolls. No, it does full screen, right? It does. Yeah, it does full uh, screen. No, you're just hitting like M for mail and it's like very yeah. bare bones. But, um,. What was I going to say? Oh, it's already, I've already lost it. That's oh, okay. no, my oh. email. So, you know, like nowadays you have your email, you pick your username and, you right. know, if it's Yahoo or Gmail, you know, whatever. You can pick whatever you want. You can yeah. pick whatever you want. So when I was first at university, I was, I was part of university, but I was at two different kind of campuses. So my, my first year, mm. my email was actually my name. Yes. My Usually second is. year. God knows why, everyone's email was a random string of numbers. <laughs> Better than most people's passwords, by the way. Oh. Random string of numbers and letters. Well, you're not getting any spam. <laughs> That's and, for sure. and, and to this day, I just don't get it. I don't understand why you would do that. <laughs> Maybe, well, there is one reason. 
um, security concerns that you could well, just email suppose, somebody and find somebody. I suppose, somebody. Yeah. yeah, I suppose that's true, but there was never a choice. It was just this, here's your random string of emails. So if you wanted to email someone, they literally would have to write it out on a piece of paper, uh, and then you would have you would memorize this uh, like, random string of numbers. So, that sounds terrible. <laughs> just bizarre. It was so like how bizarre. Many, like 10 or 15 or... You uh, it was it was oh I remember it I haven't okay. memorized eight. eight yeah eight digits could be worse but anyway I I digress could just piney mail like just one of those weird things of of that era and, and yeah <laughs> um I, we had a message left on the Atari twenty six hundred homebrews and hacks Facebook group surprisingly on like a two year old video and uh, it's from Roland Pater. He says, hi, I'm the author of Ball Blazer 2600. Oh. And I just discovered the vi this video in which you're playing the game. Two years, uh, two yeah. years old. Wow. It's really great seeing you two have fun with the game. And it's actually us. Oh, is it? Okay. On that day. <laughs> yeah. Um, before the version you played, the homebrew already had a long history of attempts, which were all nicer, but failed at some point uh, when I wanted to add more elements. Mm -hmm. The last version was made in a way to keep everything as simple as possible. Square objects, black lines in the play field, and a narrow play field. So the chances that more objects could be added was higher. It was still difficult as I had to run the game at 30 frames a second, spreading calculations over two frames each time. Anyway, see, seeing people have fun with something I created is a real trigger for me to continue the project. That's awesome. Because before that, I think that project hadn't been worked on in many years. Uh, like 2013 or 14. So I, that is always amazing. And I love that when somebody says, oh, I saw it on the show and now I'm going to continue the project. And it's like a really old project. Yeah. And it's like, it's a really sure. awesome game that yeah. everybody wanted them to continue. Yeah. Um, and I think that's a, a big thing on the show that I, I love is it, it shows off these games that maybe just get overlooked and and not enough attention is paid to them even though they're amazing mm. and this just spreads it to a little bit wider audience and that's that's what you need sometimes to keep going some some recognition or like somebody cares that yeah. you're that you're making this <laughs> I was going to say just sometimes you just want a little bit of encouragement to like yeah. keep pushing something forward right like uh yeah. uh and I think that's really nice and it is. and you know people's lives Everyone here is uh, brings some renewed energy. That's a yeah, good way to some say it. energy and, to it, some momentum. Um, yeah, everyone's everyone involved. I think in this community, they're all adults. They all have lives oh God, and yes. jobs and families, and it's hard to keep momentum when you're doing things like that, and, right? So, and one of the bigger things also is feedback. It's like, am I on the right track? Does yeah. anybody like this? Yeah. Does, is it working? Are there bugs? Yeah. Um, Twenty six hundred ball blazer is and will be amazing. Good news. It yeah. is incredible. Incredible. Yeah. Um, so I replied, Hi, Roland. Thank you so much for watching our video highlighting your incredible port of Ball Blazer. Mm -hmm. Your homebrew is so tantalizingly close to finished, uh, to a finished version. It would be amazing for you to continue on with the project. There's always concessions made when porting a game to the 2600, but as long as the fun gameplay is intact, which your port is a ton of, that's what is really important. Thank you so much for the update. Mm -hmm. So hopefully he'll return. Yes. Yeah. I looked on... The Atari Age Forum, is, he hasn't really logged in in about two years, so maybe we'll see Roland P. log in to mm -hmm. the forums and uh, post something new. Yep. Yeah, that's really, really great. Mm -hmm. And uh, speaking of new, uh, Omega Matrix um, has a new game, but it's old, but it's new because he hasn't posted it ever before. And we're going to play it right now. It's called Crazy Tunes, nice. and it's a two-player game, nice. which is always fun as well. Yeah. And I'm really baffled why he never posted this. It's um, a 4K game, but it has four variations in it. And they're all quite different variations. And they're all quite a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at that. Oh, I've got the disc screen up. That's silly. <laughs> I didn't switch it back over to the big screen. Oh, that's, that's, that's okay. That's all right. Okay, so let's get the first game going. You don't need to see us in big form. There <laughs> you go. Thank you. Hold it down. Mm. Atari Plus. Ready. Get that up a little bit. I've 
tweaked graphics on the Atari 2600 going to the feed. So it should be a lot more clear now. Because mm -hmm. last time I didn't have much time to do it. Yeah. Um, so it should be a little bit brighter. It looks it looks sharper. And a little bit sharper. Yeah. And, and the black should be blacker as well. So mm. it should look really, really good. Mm. If it's cut off on the left or right, I'm going to adjust that now. But um, Okay. So, yeah, go into that. Uh, he released this uh, May 31st, which is a couple of days ago. Um, and this is very, very, very dependent on sound. Well, with so a I'm name turn like it up. Crazy Tunes, I can yeah, understand that. Yeah, exactly. Just going to mute it at first so you don't get hammered on your head while I'm reading this out. <laughs> um, the size is 4K. Um, other games mm -hmm. by Mega Matrix, Circus Atari, Age, uh, Crazy Tunes, Venture Reloaded, a ton of hacks, Trackball hacks, PAL NTSC conversions, and menu hacks. Um, you can download this in the Atari Age forums. Um, and he posted saying, hello all. Here's a little game I had on my hard drive uh, or my drive for quite a while but just never got around to releasing it. The games are all two-player, except for the last game called Locate. Uh, it's called Crazy Tunes. The first one is called Void. It's a race to fill the gap before the other person does. First to 50 points wins. You can see the points at the top of the screen. Oh, I see. Second one is Tag. Beware of the auto switch between run and tag. First to 30 points wins. Uh, number three is called Gonzo, Be uh, Beethoven's Nightmare. You and a friend are just jamming away for fun. Not really a game. Okay. And four is called Locate. Use your super sonic hearing to locate the moving target before you run out of moves. One player only. Okay. So it's all based on sound. Okay. The fourth one. Okay. Um, but we're going to be playing this first one uh, called Void. It's a race to fill the gap. You can see the gap there. Before the other person does. First to 50 points wins. So I'm going to plug in the second joystick here. Gamepad, more precisely. And I cleaned up my Atari and broadcasting little area here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's compared it's to last week, it's, it, was, it, was. <laughs> it was a big pigsty last yeah. week. That's for sure. Okay, let's unmute this now. that's not too loud out there turn down just a little bit okay so i am in the bottom right i'm yellow and you are blue in the bottom left hey 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 oh jeez i missed it ah. so it's random so if you're lagging behind you might get the next one. Oh my god it's almost also a panic. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who got it. Uh, I think. Ah, uh, no, no, no! Oh. <sighs> That's very. Oh. No! <laughs> That's so not fair! <laughs> I lost control of my. Uh... This should probably be pretty crazy sounding in stereo because you this kind of... 2600 is in stereo and I think it's got two channels going. One for me and one for you of where we're both located. Oh. I don't know. Ooh, it's 14 to 10. <laughs> oh, you missed it. I only played this one player to test it out, so I didn't know how it would work, but it's working pretty evenly in one ahead of you. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, no. I'm gonna... So if you've already lost, it might be a good idea to kind of go towards the center. Oh, sort of. But the other person might miss it and make a mistake. Ah. Oh, ah. oh, oh my god. I feel like you bounce off each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, you totally don't even touch each other. That would be something to add as an option to, to bounce off the other person. Of course, you could just block the other person. What is it, first to 30? 
Uh, 50 this one. It's oh quite, my goodness, that's quite, quite a long. I'm already feeling tired. That could be the beer, though. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh! Uh, yeah, you gotta be fast and precise with this. Oh, I think you got that one. It's easier on the edges because... Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, oh, oh I think I got it bastard. on the angle there. I think you did. Oh. Ah! Please control. Oh. <laughs> oh. I, I do like the sounds. Oh, it's great. It is. Oh, you're just... Oh, six more. It's pretty much going through all the tones in the Atari on one type of sound on both channels. Oh, the sounds no, are I cool. Love the sounds people are saying. Ugh. Two more. Oh, one more. Oh. Lose win. <laughs> that Sounded is kind of really crazy. Really cool. That is Love really really cool. Really amazing yeah. Omega Matrix. Mhm. Mm Such a simple simple concept. I think that's all just uh, play field. And uh, one of you is player one, and our our player zero, or yeah, that's really great. Simple 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 concept. Yeah. But really fun. Um. So the next one is called Tag. Um, beware of the auto switch between run and tag. First to 30 points wins. Okay. So mm. you, I am running and you are tagging. So I have to run away from you. I don't know if I'm slightly faster. What? You're running? I. Oh. You have to tag me. Oh. Got me. Oh, now I'm tagging you. And it's it's a quite fast game, so you can. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm running. Wait, who am I? Oh, now I'm tagging. You're the gray. Yeah, it just confused me. And up at the me. top, it tells you if you're running away or if you're trying to tag the other person. Oh. Now I'm running. Didn't I get you? Almost. Oh. <laughs> so hard. I think it uses the same kind of sounds. Wait. Oh. Run? I'm running? Yep, you're right now. It's very confusing. Oh, now I'm running. You really have to watch the top of the screen. Well, it, it flashes back and forth pretty quick. Oh, yeah, because otherwise... Very fair. Oh, finally! Finally got one. Ah. Oh, I'm running. Did it switch? Yep. Oh, damn it. Oh, I'm tagging. <laughs> 30? This one's 30? I think both the numbers need to come down. <laughs> I think 50 uh, is a little too high for the first one. Now I'm tagging. <laughs> and this one, I don't know, different people might play it better than us. <laughs> but our numbers are pretty small so far. It's hard. Oh, God, I finally. You got me, yeah. It is hard. Like, just remember the, look how wild and crazy we were in the first game. That's, that's how hard it is to... Than me. It's the exact same speed. We will play to ten. Or seven. I must seven. stop at some point. No, it stops at thirty. Oh really? Yeah. Well that's gonna take a while. <laughs> yes it is. Oh, See, gotcha. 
I was going below you and you just went back and forth and hit me. Mm. And I've been chasing you and not not even been, being able to catch up. Possibly the tagger is, or one of them is faster. Yeah. Just to make it so you can catch up. So funny to watch, though. It's like little flies. Oh! Oh, you were tagging. Damn it. Gotcha. Ah, oh, I got you. I'm tagging now. It just switched. Play to ten. Oh, I'm running. Damn it. No, it stayed. It stayed even. All the way, at least halfway up the screen. keep moving straight because of how fast oh, oh now I'm running <laughs> what what is going on here <laughs> so confusing yay nope oh I got it you. switched it just switched <sighs> you gotta watch those What? <laughs> you wait until it switches. And then you turn around. Yes. Uh, deadly. Gotcha. Ugh. One more for you, and you got it. Damn it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Not this time. Game point! What? I got oh, you. Now I'm tagging. So confusing. I forget where I am if I'm running <laughs> or tagging sometimes. Oh. Almost. Sometimes I think you should get, like, it should go both Ten. ways. Yay! Got it! It's madness! <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The vertical movement is slower than the side-to-side -side movement. So if you take advantage of that... Oh, it yeah. is, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I feel I'm limited to simple beeps and boots. There's a lot of talent making those dynamic sounds. Mm. Uh I've added some music to some of my games, but it's more trial and error than music knowledge. Mm -hmm. Blue Swimmer. Um, still, a basic grid farm has given me loads of ideas. Now, when I saw this, um, this reminded me a lot of... What is that person's name that uses really simple graphics? Damn it. Um, that has like disappeared from the scene completely. I can't remember. Sorry, just playing the music. <laughs> so this is the one where it's just music. But it's pretty much the same. Except just more colorful. Simo? Simo! Yes! This game reminds me a lot of Simo's games. Where it's just crazy music and very, very simplistic graphics, but like really good gameplay. Mm -hmm. Um... So like, 
Very, very good. Okay. This one's not a game. Okay. So what is this? <sighs> this one took me a little while to figure out. No, you play. It took me a while to figure out what the hell is going on in this game. It's basically like, you know that game where you say hot, hotter, hotter, colder, colder, colder? Can you? Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to, th I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Um, that's what this is. The higher the pitch, the hotter you are, the closer you are to it. But it's moving around. So you have to listen, you know, and, and keep, make it go as high as possible. But it's moving, so you have to keep going. There you go. Oh, I got it. Yep. Really, really cool concept. So it's called Locate. Use your supersonic hearing got him. to locate the moving target before you run out of moves. So you can see at the top, there are um, only a certain number of moves before you run out of them. And you get the, the... I think the moves you have left add to your points. And if you run out of moves, you lose life. Use a lose a life. Super, super clever. Professional tag is a real thing. It has platforms and such. I've never seen professional... Oh, maybe I have. Like once. Like for a very short period of time. I didn't follow it up. Oh, you got it. Figuring it out? No? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And it also, the timer counts down, too. Funny. If you don't move, it also counts down. So it's a timer and a move counter at the same time. Nice. Completely randomized. And so it has to do a bit of calculations, I guess, the X and Y. How far away X you are, how far away Y. I don't know if it does, like, a the, uh, the angle between them and the distance. You know, x squared plus y squared, the square root of that. It's a lot of calculations for an Atari. <laughs> but it might do some rough calculations. It might be do like half x plus half y equals the tone or something. Mastered it. <laughs> you haven't died yet in a long time. Does it actually move or does it move? I think it does actually. Because it changes. It says the moving target, yeah. I don't think it moves that fast. I think it moves fairly slowly. Oh, I was off by one. Oh, you died. This is a really, really unique game. Like, not many 2600 games rely completely on sound for you to figure out the solution to it, or, you know, the end to goal. Yeah. The only other it moved into me there. Oh, it did. Yeah. So sometimes you're like, still. it's high, and it's one away, and I think it actually runs into you. I think the only other one I know of is Dolphin by Activision. Does anybody else know of any okay. other games that work solely on sound? You want to try? This was close to a game I was thinking of making. <gasps> Too slow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, also, it's this. very hard to play when someone's talking in your ear while you're trying to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to say. Yes. <laughs> well, you're like trying to listen to the tone and they're talking about the game. Like, I'm trying to listen. <laughs> it is very hard <laughs> when somebody's talking. <laughs> when someone's talking. <laughs> it's very cool. HD Rumble Part in Mario Odyssey. I'm trying to remember that. No, 2600 games. <laughs> um, I, 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 one I, of my favorite games ever was it, it immediately starts counting down moves because you have limited time. It does, yeah. yeah. Um, well, Impossible Mission has a whole component of memorizing tones. And yeah, but it shows back. it on the screen, too. You can do it without the sound. 
I'm pretty sure a little it goes... bit, but it's a grid. There's no numbers, so you have to kind of remember remember the tones. Eh, you don't have to have them. About that. You could remember the squares. Yeah, but this completely relies on tone. Yeah, no, but I'm just saying like, it reminds could... me of that. Yeah. Listening to it and listening to each tone in succession, and, and it's all about listening to the tones. Like literally, you could play this with your eyes closed. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And and I've seen yeah. um, like news reports or articles or um, news reports on blind game players. Mm. And they're playing like Street Fighter and stuff. Yeah. Because there's if you, I'm gonna die. Um, because they, if there's enough sounds mm. and enough feedback with sound. Yeah. You can figure out what's going on on the oh, screen. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Be interesting. A uh, top ten list of video games based on... Um, eh, died. On, on... Sound only. Yeah, people with uh, vision impairments. Like, yeah. what games do they like playing because the sound gives away the gameplay? That would be really cool. <laughs> it's too hard to play when somebody's talking. Yeah, but, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe we need a game where you're navigating a maze. No, no mazes, please, no. <laughs> I hate mazes. I hate mazes so much. Um, mm. Fairchild F, you use the sound to locate an object. Cool. There's a sonar search. Yeah. Mm. Um, thought of, though, of course, the one on the moon wasn't moving. I uh, thought you would enjoy a game, Gonzo, especially. It shows you the notes. Mm. Yeah. So, no, uh, only Dolphin. Because on Dolphin, which we will play eventually because mm. we need the patch, <laughs> you're a dolphin. Yeah. And you use like this echolocation to know where openings are in the, in, you know, the underwater plant life. So mm -hmm. you can swim through it. It has like five different tones that you swim through. Mm. So you have to hear before you get there and it goes do 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 And then you know it's low. Mm. You swim through the low part or dee 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 and you swim through the high part. It's the only game on the 2600 I know that uses sound. Like, you have to listen to it. Mm. Or you will just ram into the seaweed. Mm. Yeah. I love stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Very, very clever. Yeah. Um, really fun. This is a good game. This is an Omega incredible Matrix. <laughs> Omega Matrix. I'm yeah. really surprised he didn't release it till now. Like yeah? It's, it's complete. There's no... And they're all... Each little, little individual game is fun. Like, like... And it's a 4K game. Like... Yeah. I mean, it uses the same grid. Yeah. Uses different colors and different yeah. types of. Yeah. So it can use the same, you know, little the same kernel for drawing things, and you do little alterations of of what you need to have mm -hmm. for goals. But very, very, very clever. Um, so now we're gonna go to uh, Dive Kick by Blue Swimmer. Uh, this was also posted on May thirty first. These two games that people had made long before. They didn't say when they made them, um, but then they released them both on the same day. And this one's a 2K game. Uh, other games by Blue Swimmer, Balloon Trip, Birds and Beans, Cannonhead Clash, Dive Kick, and uh, Tumble Temple. And this you can download this one in the Atari Age forums as well. And then I was chatting with uh, Blue Swimmer in, mm -hmm. in the Discord, the Atari mm -hmm. Age Discord, and somebody pointed, and I posted the games I were playing today and somebody pointed out Dive Kick is actually this is a port of a 2013 game mm. um, that was released on like PS3 and a whole bunch of games this oh is really a, this is a oh, kind of a demake yes. a or, a, or a port a port yeah, yeah. so we're going to take a look port port <laughs> <laughs> Blue Swimmer says he is in the chat mm -hmm. um, there's one by Cyberg that uses sonar called Echo Patch, did you see the patch for Gold Rush? Did he just put? Did he put out the gra the the look for the patch? The yet? graphic? Yeah, the graphic. Did you not show that last week or something? Not last week. No. Oh. I don't, uh, don't, I don't know so. if I've seen it. It's either from a long time ago or it's brand new. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, Omega Matrix, if you could message me with Echo by Cyberg's Echo. I'd love to take a look at that. Anyway, we're going to take a look at um, the video for Dive Kick so we know where this game um, is coming from. Yes, um, awesome game, Omega Matrix. Thanks for thanks for joining us. Uh, let's take a look at Dive Kick, which I just found out is a, a game that's more than just an Atari 2600 game. Stop. Okay. 
and it's funny, I was looking for the video and the thing that came up was uh, that I paused it on. It said, I could make this game in a browser in one day. <laughs> and I think that's hilarious. <laughs> there you go. Everybody can see it now. Um, so let's press play. There you go. Two player, Death from Above. Um, one of the guy on the left is named Kick. Boom. Headshot. <laughs> so um, it says, Dive Kick is a comedic parody of fighting game motifs and contains many humorous references to games, especially those in the Street Fighter franchise. So let's, uh, get a little bit of a there we go. Um, as well as inside jokes from within the competitive fighting game community. Unlike most fighting games, which are played using many buttons, uh, for many different kinds of moves and attacks. Dive Kick is played only using two buttons, Dive and Kick. <laughs> Pressing Dive causes the character to perform a vertical jump, uh, with each character having a different jump height and speed. After diving, uh, the player can press the Kick button to perform a diving kick, which each character kicking at a different speed and angle. Pressing Kick while standing performs a backward evasive hop for most characters called a Kick Back. Using these moves is the only way to move, evade, attack, and dodge. Performing a dive kick will partially fill a kick meter displayed at the bottom of the screen. Uh, this meter can be partially expended to perform a special move activated by pressing both buttons at once. Each character has two unique special moves, one used on the ground, one used in the air. By performing kick when the kick meter is filled entirely, players activate the kick factor and reference to the X Factor mechanic in the Ultimate Marvel and versus Com uh, Capcom 3, Kick Factor gives the player a temporary speed boost and slightly more advantageous kicking angle. <laughs> Some characters also sp uh, gain special properties such as invulnerability while in Kick Factor. Mm. Here we go. This is uh, this is Dive Kick, <laughs> the the original. So it looks looks crazy. <laughs> Blue Summer. What's he saying? Blue Simmer uh, is trying to temper expectations <laughs> <laughs> right now. What? The graphics aren't going to be as good as that? <laughs> he says, I did not, I do note that I did not implement several of these mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I've already played it. It looks fun. <laughs> it looks like a lot of fun, but I didn't play it against somebody, so I, I knew there would be a lot more fun playing with two player. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> don't panic. I wouldn't put it on the show if it didn't have some great qualities to it yes. and something some going playability. on. Playability, yeah. Playability. Yeah. Okay, press button. And especially two player games, because there's not enough two player games out there. And so I'm really happy anytime uh, somebody puts up a two player game. There we go, dive kick. It Made a nice little uh, graphic for you. Very cute. So there's your two guys. Nice. I'm guessing you're red. Always left. Player one. Yeah. So um, up is dive and kick is button. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Apparently special moves aren't there. Um, okay. I know there's a time limit. Oh, okay. So that's oh. dive and then you go kick. Ah. Kick your head. Okay. So you have uh, energy meters in the top. <laughs> Unfair. Oh, if you press. Oh, it can jump back. Just the kick jumps you back. Okay. And you can do small kicks. Oh, who got it for? Oh, I got it. Oh, I think you have to be higher than the other person. Oh, you. What? Oh, I see. To get the point. Oh. <laughs> Unfair. Oh, oh, and it resets automatically because somebody pressed the button. Oh, you got me. Did I? Oh, you go back. Oh, oh. running out of time. I think that's the running out of time thing. Oh, oh my God, you can change sides. Oh, interesting. 
Oh. That was a definite win. <laughs> oh, yeah, you landed on my head. What? What's going on? That was weird. Uh. It is an interesting mechanic when the button doesn't make you jump because <laughs> yes. it's confusing my brain ever so slightly. Like it's different, it's very different mechanic because he's using. But I didn't. That's so weird. Oh, there shows the death. Ah, oh no, that's a win. That's a win. That's a win. He's like celebrating. That's <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I quite. Oh. Oh, I went under you. That's so interesting. You can oh. go under the person. Oh. oh, I'm not always jumping. You have to press up to jump. No, That's it. but I'm I'm not always like. It's weird. I I maybe it's because I haven't landed yet that I'm trying to jump too soon. Oh, you got it. Oh, that's a different uh, graphic. Yeah, I think that's what's happened. But I I can't immediately jump. Like I couldn't immediately jump there. Look, like am I not? Is it the the joystick that's going a little wonky? No, go. It's fine. Maybe I'm just not hitting up. Maybe I'm hitting to the side. Yeah. Because fine I for was. Me. Yeah, but I didn't. User I didn't, error. I didn't go up that time. It jumped a second time. Did you not just see up, that? Up, up, up. It's working. So it didn't work that time. I'm not crazy. <laughs> Don't know. Works working for me. See, it didn't jump that time. It didn't jump that time either. Did you not hear me hit the hit the? No, it's silent. I can't hear you when you hit it. No, it. it I. It's weird. It's definitely the controller. <laughs> if you hit See, it before you land, it will not register. It's got to be. That's got to be the issue. Because I can press that too, but it. it you have to wait till you land and then you press it. Because otherwise you're just constantly jumping. How do you go jump backwards? Uh, just backwards. the button. Just the button. Oh, just just the button. Yeah. Okay. It's just weird. <laughs> it's a very different mechanic. <laughs> it is. Oh, just needs a slight pause after uh, the win, because you're constantly pressing buttons, so it resets right away. If you wait, oh, oh. nice. <laughs> the, <laughs> the winds are so weird. They are funny. <laughs> They're all these different. I just stole the standing sprite from the collection. Where <laughs> you're laughing my ass off. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's the Daryl Spice Jr.'s um, tutorial on how to make a game. Yeah, I, I notice what you're saying, but that's part of the game. You can't press the up before you're landed. No, I think that's the issue I'm yeah. having. Yeah. Yeah. But I swear you kicked back on me. Or, or are you just moving back? Yeah, you press the button. You move back. Yeah, okay. So a couple of times you've gotten a point on me, and you're not kicking back. You're just going back. Hit backwards though. There's anyway. no, there's no backwards. There's no, only two buttons. No, but I kicked buttons. backwards into you. I got a point off of you. Oh, okay. You just have to touch me and be higher than me. That's it. I think. But I was, I was in front, and I kicked backwards. I think as long as you're higher, you get the point. When you, when we yeah, touch. but I didn't think you could do that. Mm, mm, I guess you can. Uh, anyway, I have to get used to it. I have to play <laughs> with it. So, press it. I look, did you look at the guys? They were very cool. Yeah, they're cute. <laughs> they're very big sprites. <laughs> very big. Yeah, it's weird. That is weird. Yeah, I guess you could kick. Like, I, I, you can't kick. You can hop backwards. Now I'm going backwards to the other end. Yeah, because we've switched sides. But I went under you. 
and and you research so it's so going that way heading backwards goes that way for you then oh so you actually switch sides yeah because he went under you want to show i'll show you okay hop up high oops yeah you can jump under me hi oh, you went down too <laughs> fast don't come down too fast okay, go high Oh, you went down too fast. Do it at the I height. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. It's like when you want to do it. Oops. Oh. Ah. Well, I'm oh, not trying to get you. Really I'm trying hard. to get over you. Are oh, you trying to get over <laughs> me? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You get closer. Get one more. Okay. You go up. Oh, you want to press the button way too quick. You have to do it right at the top. I'm going to do it way down low, and okay. you do it right at the top. There. Now go back. See? Because we've oh, switched so sides. Oh, so it does go back. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Maybe that's, maybe that's how I kicked you that, that time, then. Possibly. Because we switched sides, so suddenly I was jumping forward, but I was going the other way. That makes sense. It's just an interesting. It's interesting mechanic. This is one of the best fighting games I've, <laughs> I've played on the 2600. It's pretty cool. Like like it, physical it fighting games. It definitely takes getting used to, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, and literally like there are just up and the button. There's yeah. no left, right. There's no down. Yeah. There's up and the button. Up and the button. And if he um, put in support for the Genesis, you could mm. actually have a two-button game. Mm. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> um really 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 fun i highly highly recommend it yeah um yeah it's really fun it's really good input latency perhaps going to bullet time when somebody starts a jump <laughs> that would be hilarious yeah. yeah bullet time's tricky in any real-time game mm -hmm. of course the other person goes in bullet time too you could do it right as long as everybody knows it's bullet time now and yeah. everything's slow uh, so ooh. so when you press the button it's a little bit slower uh, yes, as long it's as long as you're higher. That's what I thought, because that's really easy to calculate. If they're touching, mm. who has the a higher Y position? Yeah, that person gets a point. Yeah, or more importantly, the other person loses a loses point. a point. Yeah. yeah, it's possible to use number pads for fighting games. Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, because then you could those number pads have twelve buttons. Of course, they'd all be buttons, though. There'd be no joystick. Unless you wanted to make it one player and have one joystick and the number pad for all the moves. Mm. Um, but then you wouldn't have a two-player game. So, Very, very cool. I like it. Um, the third game we're going to be playing is... Actually, I didn't read anything out from Blue Swimmer. Uh, this homemade, home get brew was originally made in, back in 2018 when I was first learning how to make 2600 games. As the name implies, it ex it's an extremely bare-bones adaptation of the video game Dive Kick for the 2600, which is a fighting game that uses two buttons, Dive and Kick. Here, pressing up on the joystick... Um, acts as the dive button and the fire button acts as the kick button your goal is to kick the opponent before they kick you if the timer runs out then the player who's closest to the center of the screen wins the round ah the game is best of nine so whoever wins the first five rounds wins download is below but be warned that i have made no updates to it aside from fixing the scan line count which is good uh, the game is blatantly lacking polish there are no sounds the player sprites are ripped from berserk and, <laughs> and the jump arc is unnatural actually the jump arc is fine i like it where it's like a straight diagonal move uh the list goes on regardless i felt it was worth posting given that it was my first homebrew and i never released it this is a 2k game um so there's lots of room for more if you wanted to go back to it blue Sower, mm -hmm. i think there'd be some fun little updates you could put into it sound um about it <laughs> a winner i guess on the screen um put the pause after somebody wins it's like one or two seconds so it doesn't start automatically yeah um or even some little animation i don't know yeah you could do the power up that they have in the original game um where you press up and the button at the same time 
and it or, would do or that. Or no, power I just move. meant when you win, like some little. Animation. Oh yeah, do, do, do. yeah. <laughs> Arms going up. Yeah. Could or do the that. guy on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's nice. It's, it's very fun. simple and it works really well. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really really good. Yeah. Uh, Elmo means business. Yeah. Elmo. Oh, the blue st- yeah. Sesame Street controller. Yes. What? Um, Elmo. No, Elmo's in red. Elmo. Oh, Elmo. Oh, okay. <laughs> Elmo versus Cookie Monster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is, actually. Okay, so. Uh, it, it seems like people love the buggy sprites once someone wins. So if that I was a bug, it. it worked. it's a bug that worked in your favor. They're just really crazy <laughs> looking. You're like... They're, it looks like they're bleeding and stuff. Like it's, they're very it's hard. interpretive. They are... <laughs> So it's like, like a Horshack test. Yeah. Like what? How do you interpret the the defeat and the winner? Like, <laughs> like, is 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 that blood spatter around the head of the of the victim or yeah, <laughs> yeah? It's pretty awesome. Um. So this is kind of three games in one. We're gonna try. We're gonna kind of look at all three, <laughs> except for INV. Um. Mm-hmm. So go to INV plus. INV is so close to INV+, plus, we're not going to look at INV, because you probably wouldn't be able to notice the difference. Um, so, INV was put out in 1998. It was one of the first homebrews ever made. Mm. This is kind of an update slash sequel to it. It's INV+. Plus. It's made by Eric Mooney and Piero Cavina. Uh, this, it was first posted April 8th, 2004. This build is from June 27th, 2004. Um, when it was put out in, on cart. Um, it's a 4K game. Eric Moody made INV, INV+, Plus, and River Rampage, which we're going to look at as well. Mm. It's kind of a Eric Mooney focus on him. <laughs> He's made yeah. two games. Nice. Um, uh, and Piero Cavina made INV+, Plus Mondo Pong, which we looked at oh, last yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. And he made Oystron, which is an awesome game. We nice. played a long time ago. Mm. I think on the first show ever. And you can download this from Eric's website. Um, so when he announced this game, obviously it's Space Invaders, but um, he said some Atari agers might be familiar with the INV game in the homebrew section. It's yet another implementation of Space Invaders. I actually wrote that a long time ago, back in 1997, when the Stella mailing list was first getting started. I lost interest and it was never really finished. But first, Hoser Games and then Atari Age had a few people looking to buy cartridges, so I put it up for sale. A couple weeks ago, I decided to revisit the game and finish it for real. Attached is the binary of Release Candidate 3 zipped. Here's a list of changes from the old version. Um, And we'll get into that. Um, Then the release announcement by Al that he posted in 2004. Eric Mooney has completed his work on INV. Actually, you could start playing. It's it's Space Invaders. Use the game reset. Oh, I saw somebody post somewhere that they wired. No, wrong button. Right. It's the middle button. It's not working. Nope. Something funny's happened. What? Is yours? No. It's hard to play Space Invaders if you can't shoot. Try right now. Well, I die readily. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Do you have... Oh, you're there. Oh, you're shooting. I'm not, though. What the hell? I played this a bunch on the emulator. Oh, I just killed myself. What is happening? It's weird. Can't you shoot? That's weird. Um, I'm gonna replace this with a normal controller. Okay. For this, uh, it may be doing something really weird that it doesn't like those controllers. It's possible because this one seems to be working with the, with the two player. So. Yeah. Because that is not entirely 100% normal controller. This does things just a little differently than normal controllers because it has extra buttons mm. and like that. Although you would think the Genesis would also have an issue, but anyway. Yeah. So, try it out. Which one? This guy? 
Yep. That is the first time I've ever seen a game that reacts really weirdly with the Genesis controller. Sorry about the clicking. It's the most clickiest joystick ever. Yeah. It's not my favorite joystick, I have to say. But, but it's only for left and right on this. So. Ah. Um, Eric Mooney has completed his work on INV Plus, an original take of the... I have to turn this down. I don't need the sounds anymore on that. Uh, an original take in the arcade classic Space Invaders is the only version of Space Invaders on the 2600 to feature 11 invaders in a row matching the arcade game in this regard. INV Plus is a success successor to INV with many improvements over the original game, which you can learn about in our homebrew discussion forum. The binary can be downloaded here and you can buy a copy and cartridge completed with a new manual created by David Exton from the Atari HD. Eric and Piero have also released the source code to INV Plus, which you can download here. Um, <laughs> Eric added well, the invaders, space invaders in <laughs> The invader, oh, it does start. Okay. The invaders in INV are drawn with the console's play field graphics, not the sprite graphics. If you're not familiar with the 2600 technical capabilities, just know that it's the same mechanism used to draw such thing as the walls in Breakout and the mushrooms in Centipede. Blue Swimmer says, now this is abstract if I've ever seen it. <laughs> I like the explosion animation. It kind of goes bloop. Uh, and I think that was drawn by the, I looked at the, in um, Stella, and it's drawn using a missile when you shoot it. Uh, the resolution available with the playfield graphics is very low. Of course, that's just about the only way to get a full rack of 11 by 5 objects on the 2600. The homebrew Space Instigators uses a very intricate hardware trick to get 9 invaders per line. That trick is actually extendable to 11, but has some problems. Either the invader formation has to be quite wide, almost the entire width of the screen, or you get display artifacts with the spacing between invaders becoming uneven. So it's gameplay, not graphics, that, that drives INV, of course. I took care to replicate as many other aspects of the uh, arcade Space Invaders as possible. The 11 by 5 invader formation is a part, big part of the gameplay. Of course, there's several other details that match in the arcade. Examples are the fact that the invaders don't shoot in the last row before landing, and that the starting position of the invaders requires them to advance 11 times to reach Earth on the first level, and one row closer in waves 2, 3, 4, and 7. Also, the saucer appearance, behavior, and scoring are dead on for the arcade, an aspe aspect where the instigator falls short. So over IMV, uh, he made it a lot closer to the actual arcade game in terms of scoring and movement, and he added the UFO, which I don't think was in IMV, um, and just everything really. Yeah, the UFO sounds really good. Blue says, I think it looks neat. I like the playfield blocks, works well for the game. Yeah, they move smoothly enough, and... Um, and if you think about it, people nowadays, John Champeau, are still using playfield graphics mm. to this kind of effect. Yes. Because he used it in Robotron. Yes. And it worked just fine because Robotron, they move like that anyway in the arcade. And um, I can't remember if Space Invaders moves like that. So let's play it two player. And I'll help you out. Can I, I use that joystick? This joystick really hurts my wrist. So. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, it causes me a lot of issues. <laughs> oh, weird. It switched. Oh, no, I'm player one. Yeah, I'm the player one. bump into each other? No. no both That's through each other. Gets confusing, but it's good. <laughs> Two left. One left. Yeah. Yes. Oof. Much easier with two. <laughs> Is it just the same, or are they faster now? Uh, faster, and they start a little bit lower. They start one row lower. Okay. 
can hold the button, I guess. Oh! Enough with the clicky clickies. Yeah. And you don't I, get your bullet that... back anyway until... Oh. You don't get your bullet back anyway till it hits something, so... Mm -hmm. Might as well just hold it down or... If you shoot... If you shoot the one at the end of the row, it takes longer for them to hit the side and go down one more. Two left. Oh, it's so one hard. Left. Nice. <laughs> oh, the one's all crazy. Look at the one in the score. Oh, it is. Oh, fixed. <laughs> Weird. Base looks like more like the oh, like the arcade. Yeah, it does than the 2600 version. Ah, uh, they do target you. Oh, they like, do. You can't stand still. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, sadly. Oh, you got an extra oh, life there. And you beat me. There you go. Oh, did I? We must have both oh. got an extra life. I think so. Okay, I'm gonna play single player. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna get some more beer. So, um, oh. This one has, uh, invisible. This has an option for invisible ones. And they only show up when you hit one? Oh my god. Nightmare. So pretty much this is like just shooting randomly. Or kind of watching them as they... I don't think I've got a UFO yet. Of course I haven't gone after the UFOs either. So it's kind of hard to hit randomly. Any of them are. Whoa. You're kind of just dodging their bullets. At best. And going for clumps. Come on. Oh my god, they're getting really low. Where is it? There it is. Oh, I'm gonna die soon. This is way too hard. Oh, I got the UFO! Changes into points. Invisible option always struck me as odd. Yeah, it is. It's an odd option. I guess it's something if you're really good at the game, but it's like super easy to do. You just make them either black, mm -hmm. the color, which is the easiest thing to do because you just change one thing, or you would just set all the graphics to zero, which is a lot more work. So it's easier to just change them all to black. But the... Um... To make it invisible. The uh, enemies. Right, the... They played an invisible round. Oh. Which is terrible. Oh my hard. goodness. Because you're like. I Interesting. Don't know you just see them flash. When you hit them. Well, when you get down to the last few, that would be really hard. It makes it almost impossible. It's really cool, though. Yeah. In a proper, proper game, though. wonder where I can see them. <laughs> Mr. Mirror says he used to play the inv invisible invaders on the 2600. Ah. Uh, yeah, that was one of the classics and one of the very easy ones to find if you're collecting for the 2600. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of them out there. It's like you always find Combat, Pac-Man, <laughs> Space Invaders. Uh, what are there, the super common games that you always find whenever you look at like flea markets and stuff. Hey Atari, coming to play some Space Invaders? Want to be a second player? Say hi to your adoring fans. Yeah. There's the cat. There you go, baby. Did you know you got a takedown notice by Atari? <laughs> You're not uh, allowed to use your name in conjunction with merchandise. No. 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 Even though it's a regular word. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder what they would do if you named your child Atari. Hmm. Well, you just can't make t-shirts with it on, with your child on it. And put a meta tag, or you can go to court, which doesn't sound like it. Oh, I've passed the first level. Yay! RC7E says for real? <laughs> yeah, for real. For yeah. real. We got a DMC ta a takedown notice from Atari for one of our t shirts with our cat, Atari, 
on the t-shirt. Yes. The meta tag said Atari. Atari. And they did not like the meta tag. And nothing in the image. Nothing in the image. Had the Atari symbol or anything Atari related. Nothing in the description. No. Just I said, said cats. (laughs) <laughs> and, but I said meta tag Atari and Pixel because Atari and Pixel were both in the yeah. on the T-shirt. Not that people are searching for Atari the cat mm-hmm. <laughs> anywhere. Yeah. But I thought it'd just be funny to put a meta tag for both their names. So I so they took it down and got rid of the shirt, the company, because that's what you do when you're yeah. a company. You can get a DMCA t- takedown. Well, you just you just put it back up without the meta tag, and no it's, one seemed to care. It's no. kind of hilarious because was there was bot, nothing. For sure. Oh, for sure, but there was nothing really Atari related in the image. So that's no. what that's what to me is kind of. They didn't look at it. They just let yeah. their bots take yeah. it down. And but it, it's just kind of silly. Anything. It is just silly. It is. Yeah. Poor Atari. Did we name you improperly? No. Yeah, they should be concentrating no. on getting the box of theirs out the door. Yes. Yeah. I, I keep getting a lot of notifications about, you know, manufacturing those boxes. But, you know, haven't seen one in anybody's hands yet. <laughs> Uh, so that is a really good version of Space Invaders, mm-hmm. INV Plus. Uh, I believe it's still in the store that you can uh, buy it. And um, when I posted about this, oh, it said the some of the pr- improvements over the old game. Scoring mo- uh, closely matches the original arcade game. PAL support has been added. Invisible Invaders mode. Player death sequence improved. Hidden Easter egg added. Mm, not good at finding Easter eggs. No idea where that is. Usually you have to shoot something or shoot all your bases or like do something like really crazy and extreme. Mm-hmm. Or like shoot three UFOs in a row but nothing else. Mm. It's like, oh, I, no, I, I can't do that. Um, several <laughs> bugs were fixed. Um, and now we're going to take a look at his kind of follow-up, his kind of experiment he didn't make it into a full game but it's uh let me switch back this joystick now called inv3 that he was working on hold down the middle button please that's fine which one yep I don't have a graphic for this because it's not really a game. Um, he, as he says, as from his website, mm-hmm. um, DOS486.com forward slash Atari. <clears throat> yeah, I know the invaders above um, in INV Plus looks pretty blocky. Within the Atari video hardware, they are not sprites. They're drawn using the system's low resolution background graphics, INV3. Uh, objects intended to draw the environmental maze in light combat and Pac-Man. So I came up with this demo showing that 11 by 5 arcade accurate invaders are indeed possible on the 2600. Very, very nice little mm-hmm. graphics. Uh, 55 actual sprites on the screen, he says. That screenshot is showing that the kernel has the ability to, t- to turn on and off individual invaders. That's unheard of on the Atari 2600. I don't know when he put this out. Um, my trick was self-modifying code. The invaders were drawn by copying code into RAM and replacing sprite write instructions with no ops for any missing invaders. I never developed this into a full game, but it's interesting as a tech demo. Download the bi- binary and 6502 assembler, assembler source. So I don't think you can do anything. Try pressing things. Up, down, left, right. No, I think it just shows. Just showing that. Just showing yeah. what he can do. So it has 11 across the top. Mm. Um, which is really, really cool. They're not evenly spaced, but uh, they're pretty good. The ones yeah. that second to last row were a little scrunched up against number nine and number ten. Yeah. A little scrunchy. They're getting a little close. Need some social distancing there. <laughs> um, but it's very, very cool. Yeah. So when I posted this, um, that we were going to play INV Plus on mm-hmm. the show, um, Thomas Yanch, who suggested INV Plus nice. for the show, yeah. he posted about... Um, he said, I didn't know about INV3, which we're looking at. Thanks for posting. Actually, that looks pretty much like my own attempts at displaying 11 invaders. So we're going to take a look at his. Mm-hmm. That he did. Press the button. Because mm-hmm. he did an attempt at doing um, Space Invaders as well. 
Um, left difficulty equals A, randomly switches invaders on and off. Right difficulty A is for debugging. I started this before Stella had a debug colors. But in my demo, that yeah. in my demo, the invaders are moving and equally spaced. Uh, mm. Yeah, he did note. And you can move your guy and shoot. It doesn't do anything, but nope. that's still cool. Uh, I also had a version with shields, but setting up the shields required a lot of kernel kernel lines or more RAM because you shoot out the shields. They're like little bits are missing. Um, which required too big a vertical gap between the shields and invaders, so I eventually abandoned the project. Oh, it even has a background change. Well, I don't know if that was uh, intentional. Or... <laughs> it's it's kind of like the old up, Atari games but, yeah. where it switched colors when you weren't playing it or when it was game over. Mm. But he's got the option right Please. here, where if you switch it to A, it starts randomly taking away and putting back invaders, invaders as if you're shooting them. Blue Stormer goes, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> looks good. Yeah, this one looks really, really, really good. But he said it's, it's really, really hard to do the shields at the bottom. Mm. So he, he gave up. Looks, well, it looks <laughs> Even Thomas, Thomas Yanch is a master at coding and mm. um like whenever i'm i'm like i'm learning some the 2600 coding mm -hmm. i mean you're watching me upstairs watching terribly boring for you coding <sighs> coding videos yeah with monotonic voices that's when i pick up my switch and play some new horizons <laughs> yeah <laughs> And I'm like, what is this? Oh. <laughs> but I, I'm like learning about the difficulty. Oh, it just, it just dies. It just dies. That's okay. It hit the end. It hit the end. <laughs> it, That's it, so funny. Self-destructs, yeah. apparently. No, I mean, if you're engaged in what oh, they're... Oh, it's oh. coming back. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh. Oh, that was fun. Probably the invaders go off the screen and then they eventually... It just all kind of ...loop goes... back oh. again. It's funny. Self-destructing code. I love it. I love it. Oh, it's going crazy again. No, I didn't get the Udemy course. Um, has anybody um, looked and bought that I course? And glitches. Is it worth it? Is it still on sale? They might be going a little. <laughs> so uh, they can watch that. <laughs> Just for a little bit. I like the um, so we're going to take a look at mm. uh, River Rampage by Eric Mooney. Oh, mm -hmm. the invaders mm -hmm. are kind of back. <laughs> Lol. Uh, Blue Swimmer says, the joys of 2600 programming, you make an infinite loop and then you get a seizure. <laughs> yes. Pretty much, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Close button. Uh, yep, the loop just doesn't stop. No. No reset. No. But it was it was just a, an attempt at something. Um, so this is River Rampage, and I found this when I was looking through his website. Don't, put, don't turn it on yet. I was looking through his website um, for INV and, and notes on INV Plus and INV3 to put on the show. Mm. So this uh, was first posted in 2004. It's an F8 um, or 8K F8 SC game. Uh, and you can download this on Eric's website. And this really got me excited. Even though there's no game like this out here, mm. out there, I've never seen somebody make a game like this. But this also is not a game. This is like a proof of concept, kind of. It doesn't play. It kind of moves. Um, it says, finally, here's a tech demo showing how much visual firepower the Atari 2600 can really put out. It's a supercharged takeoff clone of the well-known game River Raid. I would say it's a lot more than that. This one looks much better in motion, so I highly recommend grabbing the download and seeing it for yourself in an emulator. So we're going to... Take it one step better and put it on a real Atari. Um, so this is uh, River Rampage. And I, if anybody, like this, I want to make a game like this. Um, but nobody has made a game anywhere near close like this with the number of enemies and number of bullets oh, on yeah? the screen. Really? That I know of. Nice. So take a look at this, River Rampage. Oh! That... <laughs> So don't don't fire for a second. I'm not dying though. No, no, it's just a proof of concept. Oh. Just look at the number of enemy bullets coming down. That's crazy. Like this is a bullet hell shooter this is on awesome. the 2600. Like there's no collision detection happening. No. And this is, is that doable? Just using F8. Look. Collision detection though? 
Uh, yeah. Um, with with you, that many things coming coming at you, or like, I don't know. It depends <laughs> how they've implemented it. Yeah. They may have to do software collision detection, That's um, awesome. because there's so much going on. Yeah. They may not be able to do hardware, but look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> bullet hell on a twenty six hundred. Look at how many enemy bullets there are. I know you love bullet hell games, so. Well. You do. Uh, yeah. This one. <laughs> Not when it gets too extreme, and this one's not too bad. That's like, awesome. like stop firing and just trying to just try and um, avoid the bullets. And it's possible, right? It's well, mildly, yeah. Mildly. Uh, and you can oh, you can oh, go up and I down can go too, up and, down. and shoot at the same oh. time. Yeah. Oh. Like, oh. like look at this crazy game. You could do amazing bullet hell shooters. Um, even with putting the enemies one per line, you could still do it. And if you used Pretty a good awesome. flicker routine, um, you could get two, three, four per line. John Champo, are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> John Ma make James, a, you make need a, to make a bullet hell game. Yeah, first I have to get something on a screen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wreck a level of bullet hell. So many mm -hmm. bullets. I remember this demo really neat. Mm -hmm. But nobody, like this is from over 15 years ago. And nobody has made anything like this. Mm. Not even close to this number, like this number of bullets on the screen. Um, let's just take a look at what this is in terms of um, coding. One second. So I want to take a look at it in um, Stella so we can see what they're using. For each of the um, river rampage, for each of the the bullets, and well, that's way too big. About there, I think. Get rid of that. There we go. Okay. So this is in Stella. And so let's take a look at what the code is. So you, uh, you're player one, uh, player zero, and the mm. enemies are player one. Mm. Um, and if you had two enemies on the same line, you'd have to alternate between them. Or flicker yourself, whichever works out better. Um, and the bullets are all using, I want to say ball? What is orange? Uh, no, missile zero. So there's there's absolutely no play field being used. Mm -hmm. So theoretically, you could use play field as a scrolling background, mm -hmm. um, and and use yeah. the background as you know grass or water as you fly over it. Yeah. Um, and there's no ball being used either, so you could use that for something. Um, so there's Neat. a lot of opportunity Neat. to to do a lot more with this. Mm. Debug colors follow the spectrum. That doesn't help me. Um, like, oh, purple, purple. Oh, Playfielder is on the side. I don't know why he put. Oh no, he does. He is using the background. So the blue is the background. It's gray. The blue background. Yeah. Yeah, gray is background. So he yeah. is like thinking that's like water, and the green would be grass. Mm. Okay, so he is he is using it. That's good. Um, I still don't understand the uh, spectrum. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Okay. It relates to... It, go back to the other screen where it shows the acronyms. Yeah. Yeah, so I... Red, think. yellow... Purple. Purple. Background. I don't know. I don't know. Play, I can't memorize that. <laughs> and I don't know the order of the rainbow either, so <laughs> that also doesn't help. I, one day I'll memorize this. Just, I mean, I know the yellow and the red are players because they're too complicated to be anything else mm. but yeah but i was just blown away at that what this proof of concept shows that can be done mm. um and i hope some and look at this see the so green so nice he also has the green laser which yeah. is, is going to be the ball because it matches the play field um so he's got a laser oh yeah plus what are those colors so he's oh he's using the ball ball and so it's green and yellow. 
missile yellow one and, and player one. Oh, what? It's yellow, right? He's yellow? Oh, he is. Oh, okay. So he's using triple kit, which makes sense because it's in front of him. Mm. So if you just use it over, because you'll never cross paths mm. between him. So he's doing triple kit uh, narrow, triple kit close or medium. That's really, really clever. Yeah. Smart, smart, smart. Anyway, I've seen enough of that demo. Um, I thought that was amazing. And please, somebody make a game with that. <laughs> as soon as humanly possible and carry on what he has started because i think he posted the source code quite possibly oh and i learned to move that back to that screen or else it goes crazy after the show red player zero orange missile one yellow player mm, no. oh roy g biv yes okay roy g biv i know that acronym yeah <laughs> what are you laughing at just you oh uh i i i know i yeah uh so p missile one player one missile one blue ball purple play field yeah but blue and purple are out of order in the debugger oh well then it's all thrown into chaos then <laughs> what is the point um so we're gonna take a look at the last game here and I did try it on a real system, and it is just a bit too jumpy. So we're going to be playing it in the emulator. Um, so it's actually good that I got the emulator up and going. Uh, Pantheon is the last game. And it is an update. And we've got uh, an exclusive update for that. Mm -hmm. So let me plug in a joystick. Yep. Because we just, we kind of played it last time, but we didn't get very far because we didn't. Well, we, we did we a fair a amount. Bit, yeah. Not, not as we, much as we I were wanted to. Slowly figuring stuff out. Yeah. Because we thought the first guy, you had to get that first guy. And, and then we had realized to we didn't him. have to. We didn't yeah. have to. Yeah. So here we go. Thank you. Pantheon by Satyr's Faction. Move that up. There we go. Boom. Pantheon. Nice title screen. So this one was put out on our past to me on the twin 19th? 19th. No, when is this? That's a wrong date. Uh, what's the date on this? I've got it in the 29th, so a couple days ago. Readjusts where it is. There we go. Make sure we've got it all. Okay, should be able to press the button. No? Try it again. Which button am I pressing? First one. I feel like this happens every time. <laughs> well, the thing is... It just resets the uh, the inputs, right? That's difficult again. What? Joystick zero, button zero. Oh, ma oh maybe it just doesn't start with the button. <laughs> there we go. Can you move around? Yeah, okay. We're fine. Where We're I? happy. Oh, Here's that's the flashy cool. blue thing. So we don't have to do the first guy? Oh, it's blue! Yep, <gasps> he changed it to oh, blue. Oh my goodness. Like we suggested. So now it's water. And it's not only blue, it's changing color blue. Yeah, that's really Which is wonderful. really nice. My goodness. Um, so uh, Satyr's Faction also made Local Hero, Local Hero 2, which we haven't played yet. Uh, Pantheon, Text Adventure, and Text Adventure 2. Um, this is not available. Uh, last time we played this was May 20th. Um, his notes after watching the last broadcast that we did of Pantheon he said, Hey, I watched the show after the fact. For some reason, I can't get live streaming to work. As always, it's fun to watch you guys figure things out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I colored the background black and orange to resemble Athenian red figure vases. Oh. Nice. 
That's where he's got the color from. Nice. Uh, but maybe dark blue for the water would work okay. Yeah. yeah, it's way way better. I think I think it also creates a distinction between the two maps. Yeah. Which which helps which helps a lot because um, because they sort of blend in the, in how they, they look. Did and it was this this actually creates oh very distinct. So there's your boat. Oh. Let me dig out that map actually. Nice. So we can figure out what is happening. Should still have it in my notes here. There we go. So that was Poseidon, god of the sea, gives you a mighty ship to sail the seas. You only hit them twice now, which actually. How many was it before? Was it a lot more? It was like three. Yeah, twice. Which, I think he's which dialed is, down. Which is kind of better because I was dying so much. Yeah. Um, they were very hard to kill. So, yeah, it, it is a lot easier, which is really good. So, Because yeah. the first maze you go into shouldn't kill you immediately. That's way too crazy. Nope, no, no. <laughs> um, also, I'm not very good at doing collision detection. That's why it's a little off. Though I kind of like it that way because you can hide behind rocks. Because they can't fire into rocks, but you can be behind the rocks. So you can either go up to the top one, which is really hard. You can go to that one. I can't remember what this you get here. This was the infinite um, maze. Yep. You're about to die. Mm. So you can't avoid them. Like, you don't need to fight them. And you don't no. get anything from them ever, I don't think, right? And they only shoot horizontally. So if you're not on the same horizontal plane... You're not going to get hit. Apshai vibe. Ooh, I wish somebody would make a Temple of Apshai. I love that game. But yeah, it does have that that kind of vibe. With the look of the craggy walls. Mm -hmm. And these guys are um, Minotaurs. Minotaurs, And yeah. the last ones were love Centaurs. It. Love it. I can't remember what you get in this maze. It is a maze because some things open and close. Like you can see on the left. One blocked. That, That's so bizarre. That opens up and closes randomly. Oh, closed. <laughs> this, it doesn't open to the top. It just did and you no. went away from no, it. No, the right one. I'm oh, it to never get the does. right one. Never does. I don't think you can go there. I'm like trapped. Look. For a little bit. There you go. <laughs> <sighs> Um, I'll see if I can change that. You're right, the areas with the trees are a bit cramped. Maybe I'll open up those areas a little. Anyway, thanks so much for using my game. Right now I'm working on Local Hero 2, and I have an idea for another game, sort of RPG type game. I want to try uh, something like the old wizardy, wizardry game, but oh. much simpler, of course. Oh, what? You died. Oh. You got shot too many times. Do I have my... I don't think you have your boat. I think it's one life. I think you only have one life in this. Oh, no, you do have your boat. Good. Oh, I think that changed. Uh, yeah, because I think it was just one life all you had. Yep. That was last time. Oh. So this will be much easier for testing. <laughs> move very fast that's the problem if you can if you could dodge the bullets a little bit more easily it wouldn't be so bad but and i love the guy the little guy you are pan you don't have to shoot him why are you even going in there interesting interesting what what's interesting nothing <laughs> um well when i was shooting him up close he wasn't actually causing me harm oh Interesting. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Let him walk into your bullets. Yeah, it's, they're hard to dodge. Oh, you're back where... Why do you keep going here? I'm not... 
I'm trying to go to the right because I remember you going right and up, and that's how you uh, found the thing that you had last time. It could be completely different. You could have changed it. Ugh. Now what? I'm just going to die again. <laughs> <sighs> not enough. Not enough hits. Quicker vertical movement. Yeah, a little bit. It, it actually would help you a lot if you could dodge a little bit better. Mm. And then you wouldn't feel like you have to duck in and out of rooms to get rid of them. Because I don't think that adds to the gameplay. Like Yeah, up and down is pretty slow. It's a little slow. If it was a touch quicker, you could do more to dodge. Mm. Yeah. And I think that would actually that actually would would help a little. Because your horizontal um, movement is quicker than your vertical movement. Yeah, your vertical movement's a bit on the slow side. But I do like, I, I nope. really like the change to the map. Yeah. So this is just a dead end. So. Yeah. Oh, well, sometimes it changes, though. It does. That's why you have to go kind of up, down, mm. up, down a couple times. To make sure that... Oh. Uh -huh. mm. Did you go there this way? No. I just kept trying to go right. Ugh. Yeah, you're too slow. If you're already in... The yeah. way of his bullet, you're not going to get out you're of the way. You're kind of screwed, yeah. Like, you should be able to duck down, shoot, and run back up without getting hit. Like, But you're a little slow. Guy. You're a little slow. And he's shooting fast. There you go. You're dodging a little better than I. But uh, I think, yeah, I, I do agree with the vertical movement. Yeah, just a little Touch. bit faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love his little, his legs, though. <laughs> Legs are very cute. His oh, little goatee. His goatee legs. This is the spot. I think I had to, you had to go over one more than you were. I remember that. There oh, he there he is. That's faster shooting? I don't know what that is. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> I need that. Thank you. For, what is it? Cheese? No, it's an apple. Golden apple. Uh, there you go. Yay! Now what is that? Yeah, Blue Swimmer was talking about this earlier. Vertical movement seems to be slower than horizontal in a lot of 2600 homebrews. Yeah, I think that's true. So I think pixel for pixel, um, there's 160 across, but 192 vertically. Mm. So if you do it one or one color cycle, one line, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> it, you have to, to get to the top to the bottom is 192. Plus it's also squished. Mm -hmm. So that all that adds up to much slower vertical movement as opposed to moving only 160 across. So that was the goddess of hunting. She gives you her bow for greater damage. So I should be able to kill things in one shot now. Mm. Need to find Hermes. Isn't Hermes like the god of flight? Hermes, uh, he's the one who flies too close to the sun and his wax wings melt. Uh, no, that's Icarus. Icarus, oh, sorry. Oh, it's been such a long time. <laughs> god of travel. God of travel. He allows you to navigate to distant lands. Oh, God. Did I get hit? I don't think I did. Oh, uh, he's going off the screen. It's been a while. <laughs> ah! Yep, one hit. Oh. Ow, 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 ow! But sometimes you don't, you don't, your your bar must take a few hits to go down. Maybe. Because it doesn't go down immediately, it seems. I have to watch the replay on that. Where's my exit? Let's keep going left. Yeah. There, well, we, there go. we go. Good job. So now, let's sail to distant <laughs> lands. Um, can you? Yeah, because last, last time we just barely made it to another place, and then we just got slaughtered. No, I think you have to kill the uh, oh, the guy at the, the top. top? Yeah. What is that guy? He's the really bad guy. He's yeah. uh, the Gorgon. Yeah, something. But you, you are able to kill him once you get those two, so. Oh, because you have a better shot. And then, oh, what's get, what's with the tornado? Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> get. Thank you. So this is, I have stronger shot, but I think just. Oh, my God. Mm. No, not the Gorgon. Typhon. Well, I died. Well. Let's go back in again. Because I'm guessing you retain everything. Yeah. He, he really gets you. Run, 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 run! Yay! So Hermes! That is Hermes? Yeah. Now I can travel to a different... Oh. When he's gone. Oh. When you, on your way back. I don't think shooting him is, is useful. You I think just avoid him. You don't have to avoid him. Yeah. yeah. So 
So now I have the boat and I can travel to distant lands. Mm-hmm. He has given us infinite. <gasps> that was cheating. <laughs> cheating by the game. Oh my god, it's cheating again. Look at that. <laughs> How can it be right there? Okay, so this is Italy. Now you're in Italy, yes. So which one? What is this labeled as? I don't know. It's uh, on the bottom. Oh, it's there. F. Lake Aberus. Aberness. What's in it? An entrance to the underworld. The one at the bottom is uh, one was deadly. E, Cyclops Island. That was deadly. Let's go to the far one. And then the other one, D, is Garden of Hesperides. Sacred to Hera. Yes, it's a world map. You can see that's Italy. Yeah. There. And it's a bit more clear now that that's blue. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we went yeah. in the Garden of what? Where did you go, D? Bottom left. Uh, Garden of Hesperides. This garden sacred to Hera, queen of the gods, is protected by many-headed serpents. So I'm oh guessing god. you've got a bunch of gorgons to kill. Oh god. There they oh, are. Nope. Snakes. Nope, they're uh, Hydra. Hydra. Oh, there's nothing in there. I'm looking at Oh. Many-headed serpents. They sure are. They're, they're gorgeous. I'm sorry. I, I yeah. just love, I love how much they've put into this game. Who, who's the creator? Oh, no, it kicks you back. No, but you can go right across. To the beginning. You can go across. Uh, Satyr's, Satyr's Faction. Satyr's Faction. And his... They're great. Great. We'll be, probably be so playing he Hero 2 soon. Okay. And he's improved on his graphics of the superheroes. And they look really good now. Oh, really? It's... I'm excited. I really thought that was a brilliant concept. Yeah. Yeah, I, that, that was really cool. He seems to really like the split screens. The map... Yeah. And the action, I think that's... He's uh, reduced it to one screen now. Yeah. Uh, for local for local Hero 2, mm. so... And it works better. It's mm. not so cramped. But this, this is this is pretty cool. It would mm. kind of be nice if the top map was opened a bit. A the bit bigger. Map? Yeah. It's not too bad. I mean, he's compensated for it. But it works for, it it. Works for the size of the screen that you're, yeah. you're limited to, right? And he's comp compensated for it by not being able to shoot up and not being able to be shot by things. Good uh, job. See? Oh, but it took half my life. Oh, yeah. So. You can duck in and out, though. Yeah, I'll probably have to do that. Oh, it's just dead ends. Is it? Yeah. Run, run. Run. Run away. I was wondering what the heck the bottom was for a while. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, when you don't know what it is, it's like, what is that weirdness? But once you understand it, it's like, oh, land, and you can sail on the... Ugh. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and all the way back. But you don't start from scratch. No, thank Which goodness. is really good for a game like this because you kind of want to continue your play. You do. and um, Especially when it's this hard. Well, and you've got maps and you've got different things to accomplish. It's kind of nice that it almost saves at your last accomplishment, if that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, actually, yeah. Which which is like a modern game, really. Yeah. You so, know, it has an autosave in a sense that you don't lose the major... Don't use, use your, lose your items. You yeah, do get reset you, back to whatever, where you were. Whatever quest you've managed to accomplish, you keep. And I think that's... I really like that. Yeah. That's, you don't see that in games like this. Not all that too often. often. No. Mm, I think you been. are in Tunisia? Possibly. I need a map. <laughs> that would make uh, sense, though. Uh, almost dead it, again. It, it is across from... What is that? That's Italy. Oh. So it's terrible. To the right of Italy. We have we have had on our bucket Except list uh, a cruise through the Mediterranean for a long time. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to happen in a while. So. Cruises or Mediterranean. Yeah. <laughs> Neither. It is on the bucket list, though. We'll delay that for a bit. Yeah, at least, well, a <laughs> Not couple years. terribly enthused about cruises in general. No. It never was. But they you do want to always... go around, especially Greece and the Greek islands and yeah, Italy. That's the best way to do it. You see more of Europe than I have, or Southern Europe. I've been. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's Greece. That's Greece right there. What is? Sorry. Show me. There's Italy. Italy. And then over there, it's and it's there's kind of Tunisia. A... So that's where you were. So that does make sense. Yeah. 
Yeah. VH said ZC has better geography than me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and you're you're coming over from Greece. Let's go in a different place because I couldn't find anything there. No, that makes sense. Then that would be Sardinia. Yeah. Oh my God! What are these things? What are these things carrying a rock? Tanya. What? Oh, oh, uh, Atlas. Oh, Cyclops. They're Cyclops. They've got one eye. Oh, okay. Are they throwing rocks at you? I want to see him throw a rock. Well, they're just bullets like every other. He looks character. more like Atlas though. Like he's carrying the world on his shoulders. Does look do, like does, do Cyclops carry boulders? I, yeah. It's been I think a long it's time. From, uh, the movie. Yeah. Uh, from Cap Kelly, probably good discount on cruises now. That's a very oh, good point. Oh, very good discount. Well, you know what? If you bought a cruise two years from now, oh, I need you might get a very good uh, discount. Ah! ah, he goes crazy. And well, I lost more than I got. Well, because <laughs> they can shoot once the bullet hit something right so yeah, you just that, got screwed there that would be good if there was a delay <laughs> mm -hmm. so that's a suggestion don't just make it so the enemies can shoot rapid fire oh there it is there it is is it going to be guarded forever oh there's a healing so what was that I'm not helping apollo god of the arts and healing he grants you the power of regeneration <gasps> yes More, More cheese. cheese. <laughs> Still. I'm not regenerating. Who is he? Apollo? Apollo. The power of regeneration? Does that mean if you die once, you get your life back? I don't know. Uh, that's more uh, resuscitation and uh, regeneration heal is healing. So now I need to look at... Ah, this game is hard. It's really hard. It is hard. Um, the enemies need to be much easier. <laughs> well... Or they don't kill you as much. Or they don't fire as much. They're just... I have to cheese almost every single room by going in and out of it. It's just so hard. So I've completed that middle one. I'm going to go to the top one now. I still haven't regenerated. <laughs> oh, Medusa. Run. Run. Gorgon. It's Gorgon. Gorgon. Oh, there. I Medusa just regenerated. Is a Gorgon. Oh, you did. So you, over time, maybe. Very mm -hmm. slow. Very slow. <laughs> yeah, there should be a timer on how quickly you can shoot. As well as they, how quickly they can shoot too. Okay, that's nothing. Oh my god, they're fast. Oh my god, they're fast. Ah, yep. I'm just gonna go in and out of the room till they just look one hit. And I had like three quarters of my life. What was that white thing? I just died. I turned to stone. Oh, you did. <laughs> oh, cause you looked at the gorgon. Well, I got hit by the gorgon. <laughs> <laughs> one shot. Yep. Ooh. At about half to three quarters of my life. Hmm. So I'm not even going to go in a room with a Gorgon. It's pointless. Death. Do I need something to defeat them? Is there something Maybe. I can collect? Maybe. Can you read Let's through them to see, see if there's anything that I can use to defeat Gorgons? I'm going to keep sailing to another land. Athena. The goddess of wisdom and war, she grants you much greater health. That would be helpful. Oh, Hephaestus, the blacksmith of the gods, gives you a strong suit of armor. Oh, that would be good. Seems and there. Zeus, the king of the gods, gives you his powerful thunderbolt to devastate your enemies. Oh, so more power. And then Hades, the god of the dead, he gives you his helmet of invisibility. Monsters shoot less often. Oh, So invisibility. any of those would help. Yeah. You're not completely invisible, though. See if I can go to the right. Yeah, you probably can. Oh, I can. New lands! Because yes. Medusas are impossible. And the other thing, I couldn't find anything in. So what's this? This is... G. 
clashing rocks in pass oh with the sailors these rocks clash together destroying ships oh and that is a harpy Ooh. Oh, two hits but Ooh, now there's an actual got, you've actually got uh barrier barriers mm. something oh <sighs> I, I have to say, so much has gone into this game. It's really, really cool. Oh, yeah. Huge maps, great graphics, great theme. Like, most games don't have such a well-developed theme. Yeah. And it's very much like Mega Man, where you get one thing from one guy to help you defeat mm. another area. <laughs> like, I needed the ship, plus... Oh, this is one's... Oh, it's just a long hallway. Mm. I need to go down a bit. There we go. It's very VH said C. <laughs> <laughs> you have to pass by something really quick. There we go. I'm surprised that's not hitting you. <laughs> yeah, it, he said his collision did. Oh, they're getting so fast. His collision detection is not his strong point, he said. There's still a bit of room. <gasps> Which one's this? this? This is Athena. So she grants you much greater health. Oh, thank goodness. That's really good. Um, Very nice graph. Whoa, it's huge. It's like three times the health. Yeah. And an exit. Right nice. at the exit. Nice. Excellent. So let's go to this next land over um, here. That one is I Mount Chimera. Mm. This volcanic mountain is occupied by hideous three-headed fire-breathing chimera. Oh boy. Nice. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my gosh, they take a lot of hits. Three. Oof, three. Three hits. Four? Three. Took me down. A third of my life. Are they always going to be there? Uh, oof. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh. 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 Nope, they're not. Good. I'll just cheese it then. <laughs> Manticore. Manticore. Manticores. Manticore is a lion and... That's from Archon. <laughs> Manticores? Yes. It does look like the thing in Archon that is a manticore, I think they call it. That's funny. I who's, have not... Um... Who's making Archon? I think it was... John Champo was making Archon? Archon? That I'm looking forward to. Oh my god, that's going to be so much fun. Yeah, it is. Uh, Persian legendary creature... Similar to the Egyptian Sphinx. Has the head of a human, the body of a lion, oh, and the tail and a tail of venomous spines, mm. similar to porcu porcupine quills. Um, or uh, the tail of a scorpion and and it has wings in the images uh, shown here. Oh not all of them. Not all of them? Oh that's uh, what I sometimes need. Sometimes it has wings. Oh, there we go. Interesting. Health. Ah. Hmm. everybody think should i be able to do this and just clear the screen by trying to get a screen with no enemy on it otherwise i'm just gonna die that's the problem well when you have more you might it might be easier but yeah you how like, do you get them like i have to kill these I guys don't, with I three don't shots think there's anything wrong with that if the game allows it it's fine i think so does it make it very fair and fun i don't know I'd rather try and kill these guys, but I just, I can't. They're just too hard. Everybody's too hard in this game. But that's, that's the difficulty of game, mm. uh, gameplay balancing, right? Oh, well, take that. yeah, that's why I I'm think, already full. Yeah, that's <laughs> or why. Or give more of those. Give oh. more of those, right? <laughs> that's why I think um, you need a bit more of the vertical speed. Because yes. if you have that, you can dodge bullets, and then you you won't feel like you need to go back and forth and, and get rid of it, because yes. it is it is pretty hard. I think that would solve a lot of it. Yeah. I don't know. Is that easy to change? Um, it depends. Like the movement speed? Um, if you do fractional positioning, yeah. Um, yes. Okay. If you've got that in there, because if you don't have fractional positioning, you either move one or two or three yeah sometimes two is too fast and one's too slow mm. like right now it looks like he's doing per like he's he can move to every line um but if he's got fra fractional position you can do one and three quarter mm. lines 
and then he'll go at a you know a steady you could set it to any speed ah. um so i'm sure batari basic hmm. has fractional positioning so if he doesn't already ha use that then he should <laughs> RC70, I can never resist picking up health units even when I'm at full health. I'm compelled to pick it up. I know. It, I, I, there's a game I'm playing. Maybe I can be more healthy. I don't know why, but on the Switch, they have like a Elder Scrolls stupid pay-to-play game called Blades. And I've just been playing it for something to do because you can kind of play little quests. And Blades. you you play little quests. Um, I don't pay to play, by the way. But... um. <laughs> Because I, I just abhor that whole concept. Yes. Um, but the thing that makes me the most crazy uh, is when your health is full, no. you can't actually, like, you would eat things to, no. to increase your health or eat or pick up um, plants. Yeah. It won't let you pick them up. And so they sit there oh, no. flashing as you're fighting things. <laughs> and it's like you go over like, oh, your health is full. And I don't know what it is. But it kind of irritates me that you can't... When you pick up the plants... No, but you can... can't pick it up at all. Uh, no, when you do pick up the plants, yeah. do you store them or do you eat them immediately? You eat them immediately. Well, that's why you can't pick so them up. That, but, but you I... should be able to store them. It's you like... should be able to store them. That's it's exactly like, no, my No, no, I'm too full. No, no. And I can't imagine picking that up. And it's such a weird thing, up. but it irritates me so much about the gameplay. You're my navigator. Well, you've what got... Is that? Oh. <laughs> uh, a Pegasus allows faster travel over land and sea. It's Good. a prize, like like the golden apple, which does look a little bit like a golden poop, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or a gourd. Ever so slightly. Or a gourd. <laughs> or a gourd, yeah. Um, but, but I hear you, RC70. I have to pick up the extra health, even when I'm at full health. But it, it, it actually makes me kind of crazy that I can't pick it up. Yeah. Ah. Uh. I have to go all the way through this again. Oh, that one actually helped. Um, golden poop. Golden poop. It's a golden apple. The golden poop heals you. <laughs> uh, I think the shape might be better. Uh, a little rounder. A, a little rounder, a little less oblong. <laughs> yep, yep. Anyway, that's my rant for the day. I, <laughs> I don't know why. It's just you mentioning that just... just Oh, I don't know what it is, but the fact that you can't pick it up just and then it just continues to shimmer like you can. This is funny. You can walk through it. Yeah. But you can't walk on. Oh, now it's working. Okay. <laughs> oh, now it's working. There you we get, go. You get stuck, so right? Now it's I can't, sticky? I can't go down. What? All the way. Oh. But if I go over, I can walk through it. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> you can walk through. The first little. The first one. Oh. You can't walk oh, you can walk through the second one, too. But you can't go down. Mm. Oh, oh, you regenerated. regenerated. Yay. That is a good reward, the regeneration. All these mm. are very, very well thought out rewards that help you with the game. So now I think I have just one left on this land. And then one left on two left on the far left land. No! No, monkeys. <laughs> monkeys. They look like monkeys with they tails. They do, like lemurs. Lemurs, yes, yeah. more like lemurs. Yeah, throwing little, a little lemur rocks. Esque. Yeah. James did it earlier. The anxiety from watching is what triggered the thought. Yeah. Oh, I, I just avoided one completely when I could have had it. Oh, because I was full. Mm. Sorry. The thing is, you. if you go back, it's not there, right? No, it's so gone. it really doesn't matter if you pick it up or not, but I, I, yeah. Anyway, yeah, it just makes me crazy. It's, Don't make it flash silly. if you can't pick it up. <laughs> That's right. It's not the greatest game either, so. What's it called? Blades. Bethesda trying to cash in on pay-to-play games. Oh, is it a is it a completely original game or is it? It's original, but it's it's like oh, it's Elder Scrolls, but it's not an actual. So it Elder is part Scrolls of Elder game. Scrolls. It is, yeah. Okay. But I mean, they they came up. Their last game was a multiplayer game, right? So, which I I haven't played. 
So do I need oh, to go here? Which one do I need to go to? On the far lands. I'm gonna just stay in here actually. That whirlwind is here, here. So I'm in the there's top. There's nothing there. Oh, you're in the top one? Which one? G or H? See, it's flashing on H. Oh, Field of Aries. Aries? Aries? The sacred grove is said to hold the mythical golden fleece guarded by an immortal dragon. Oh, God. <laughs> Actually, the immortal gr dragon is, a, is green. I should be faster over land now. Oh, and look. The golden fleece teleports you out of the area you're look. in when you hit select. Look. Look. What? Oh! <gasps> You're flying! How are Pegasus. you flying? Pegasus! <gasps> that thing is guarding the dragon one. No! Get out of here! Come over to where I am! <laughs> How does it know? Get out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna die. Yeah. Because it's a dragon. It's just, it looks like is a little Is it one thing. dragon or multiple dragons? Oh, yeah. It should be just one dragon. It teleports you out. Oh, if it touches you? No, no, the golden fleece. Oh. If you get it, if you hit select, okay. it teleports you. Well, so I'm just letting there. you know. Yeah. So once you get it, you can teleport out. Mm -hmm. Well, that's very handy when you're in a very, very deep maze. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ah! Oh, oh skeleton. Oh, sewn man. Sewn man. Sewn man. Hmm. Let me just go right, and then I'll do the next level down. That's the first layer. Oh, yeah, I can avoid it. Or not. Ow. Second layer. As long as this is not a maze and I don't get... Ah! So I've been... Mm, so in Greek mythology, I've never heard of this before. Spartoi, also Sparti, translation sown men, mm -hmm. are a mythical people who sprang up from the dragon's teeth sown by Cadmus, who were believed to be the ancestors of the Theban nobility. Hmm. Sprang look... up from dragon's teeth. Yeah, that's not one. Never heard that one. Before. No, that's not a myth that I've I've heard of before. I love games that make you look things up on Wikipedia. <laughs> oh, is, what is that? Is that, can that's, you look that up? Uh, that's his, Hephaestus. Is. Yeah, is that you want reward? him. Yes, you want him. Oh, get him. There you go. What does he give me? He gives you, I would get a, get away from the stone men. Okay. The blacksmith of the gods gives you a strong suit of armor. Excellent. But is there a dragon still in here? I've got the reward. Uh, so is there still, still a fleece? It still so says there's a golden fleece guarded by an immortal dragon. So, hmm. yeah, now now you're not taking as many hits, and you have a lot more life. So, that all helps. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so far, no dragon. I was gonna say those two hits didn't take off much. Yeah. No. Yeah. Which is very. Oh, there's a dragon. You found him. It's tiny. Yeah, <laughs> he might do you a lot of harm though. Look at the harm. Uh, but there's oh, a... there's an arm. You probably do. What? It's going through him. Oh, he's immortal. <gasps> oh, you have to get past him? Yeah. Go up? Uh, let's go nope. up and then go around him. <gasps> That's not... You have to get past him, I bet. <gasps> Run past. Oh, we can't shoot backwards. Oh, get the stone man. Get him. Uh, you've, you've got... No. There we oh, go. Oh, good job. Yay, golden fleece. Now I should be able to press what? select. Oh, you can you can hit select maybe. You can't pick it up. That's uh, that might be a bug. Teleports you out of the area when you you are in when you hit select. So you have to just stand on it, or maybe I have to kill the dragon. How do you kill the dragon? He's well, you shoot him. He's an immortal dragon, though. Immortal? Oh, he can't shoot backwards. <laughs> yeah, I can't shoot him. Well, maybe just hit select on top of the golden fleece. 
Yeah. And you just, that sounds like a reward that you would use in a maze. It does. I to think just jump out of a maze. That doesn't look so dragony. It. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a small snake. Yeah. He's not fully grown. Yeah, he's the same size as the hydra, <laughs> which the hydra you would think would be more. I don't know. Oh. Oh my god. Well, let me try again. It's not letting me pick it up. That's weird. I think that's a bug. I think so too. I think that has to be a bug. But uh, anyway, can you hit select and transport that's out? That's what I'm going to try and do. Huh. I can't get this no matter what pixel I'm on. <laughs> that's a shame. Okay, we're going to try select. Nope. Nope. Well, so that is definitely a bug. Uh, Either because I can't kill the dragon, mm. or I don't have something that I can kill the dragon with. That maybe, might be it. Maybe the Zeus's. Uh, maybe the thunderbolt. Maybe. I don't know where Zeus is, but probably somewhere on that screen. This might be the last enemy of the game, That's right? Possible. Yeah, you don't do that. Don't go right beside enemies. <laughs> They'll yeah, just hammer keep your you. Keep distance. This might be the last enemy. Maybe. I know where he is. He's in the bottom right corner. Ow. Well, the gods are supposed to give you gifts to destroy Typhon, who was the one at the beginning. Right, so, which I just walked around. Yeah, but maybe, got the reward. maybe you can't kill it until you have everything. Oh. That would make sense. Okay, so the Golden Fleece is second to last? But you, the gold fleece know. wouldn't help you against him. No, it wouldn't. Just helps you get out of mazes. Mm. So you don't actually need it. So which one I have but not defeated? I was Mount Chimera. You've done that. G was Clashing Rocks. You've done that. So H you kind of just did. So you have to go back to the other side. I don't think you did the ones on the other side, did you? One, I couldn't find anything. So I couldn't find anything in this maze. I'm going to try again. What is that, D? That is Garden of Hesperides. So I'm going to do it very methodically. It Hera. No, you got... Sacred to Hera is protected by the many-headed serpents. That one? Yeah, I did. The Hydra? There's got to be something there. It's one in everything. So you have Poseidon. You have Hermes. You have Artemis. You have Apollo. Athena. Hephaestus. Hades and Zeus you haven't found yet. So there's two you haven't mm. you haven't found yet. Rewards? Two of the gods whose powers you need. Okay. So definitely there is something there. Yeah. Pointless. Pointless fighting them. <laughs> Just gonna get hurt. Don't know if I made it up mm, to here. Maybe. Nope, I did not. Oh. Thing. No, go back. Maybe it's a maze. None of them have done anything like that before. No. Since that one. Oh! <sighs> Too fast! Doesn't show up very often. There we go. And it usually shows up when I'm going back and forth. Did you return to the completed... the maze in Rome? Um... The one... The maze... Oh my god, I can't remember. F? Lake Avernus? No. So I think I think this one and Lake, Lake Avernus in Italy there. Okay. Both of those. Avernus. So this is tu Tunisia. I think both of those you haven't completed. So I okay. think you, there's still two. So there, there has to be something here, and there has to be yeah. something in the other one. <clears throat> okay. Go away, snakeies! Oh. It's the only path I haven't taken yet. Okay. There we go. 
There we go. Yeah. Which one is this? This is uh, Hades. And he gives you his helmet of invisibility. Monsters shoot less often. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> Yay! Oh, yeah, they're not. They're like nice. one, one out of every two. You might be able to hit them. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, he's not even trying. <laughs> <laughs> You're invisible. Hooray! That will help in a lot of situations. Oh, and now you're regenerating health, too. Just shoot him. Uh, he's not... Uh, I'm still going to do that. <laughs> still not that helpful. It's too easy. It's a little it's bit too helpful. Easy to, uh, to leave. too easy to get hit. Yeah. Hey, Atari! Especially when you're close to them, because they just shoot, 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 shoot. I'm going to grab the other cat. The other cat? Yeah. Secretly? Oh, he's going to... Ow, 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 go, get, go, get. Oh, snakes. Oh, yes. Oh, full health. Thank God. So I'm going back to the maze in Rome. This one. This is F. Dark and gloomy lake in Italy is rumored to be an entrance to the underworld. Is this what you mean? Sorry? The Rome one on the boot? Yeah. That's where I need to go? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 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 angry cat. So angry. How dare you disturb my slumber. Hi. Hey. How are you? Were you disturbed? Yeah, you he's angry? not happy. I'm not a. Oh like, yes, that's asleep. right. These guys. The gorgons. And I don't think they. Have, oh, they do disappear. So I just have to keep doing that. And I think that's the only way you're going to defeat these guys because they don't always shoot now. And I yes. was just getting hit immediately. Yeah. Oh. Can you shoot them? Can you hit them? Uh, I'm not, I'm you don't want to take. Uh, if if I can shoot them, they can shoot me. Ah, and that's not what I want to do. <laughs> I'll get it just for VHZ. VHZ. There you go. Or was it RC70? Uh, RC70. RC70. There you go. I picked it up. Even though it was full health. <laughs> oh, look at that. What, what is, is that? that? It's a oh, Cerebrus, which is the dog. The dog, the dog to the underworld. Yeah. Oh, he just goes up and down. He doesn't shoot. Oh. He's just a guardian. Beautiful. Like a... I love these. I love these characters Very so nice. much. They're so awesome. I'll pick up another one. So this is the right way. Ah, ah. Yeah, definitely. The way you get around these guys is. Oh, oh. What is that? That would be Zeus. Oh yeah, you you. There we go. Oh. Gorgeous. There we go. So what does Zeus give me? More firepower. He gives you uh, his powerful thunderbolt to devastate your enemies. I think that's the only thing I'll be able to use against um, the dragon. Really. Yes, I'll be. Hold on one second. Oh my god. <laughs> I just got a message. That's all. Okay. So popular. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. So do I have it? I got killed on my way out by the dog. I don't know if I have it. I'm going to have to go back in. You're very welcome, RC70. It wasn't too long to get there. So it's to the right, to down. It's really down and then over and then over and then up. Right? Or maybe not. Ah, yeah, I think I'm going the right way. I think the dog is one over to the right. <laughs> nope. I think that's where it was, wasn't it? No, I didn't even counter the dog. Maybe 
dog's gone. I swear the dog was right here. The Cerebrus? Yeah. Or Cer Cerberus. Cerberus. I'm saying that wrong. Cerberus. There's a firewall software called that. Because <laughs> it yes, gu guards, right. guards the underworld. I think it, I'm trying to remember. I think it was grade 10 English. Oh! <sighs> it's okay. You still have everything, thank goodness. Yeah, but um, I got I got it. You but got then Zeus. On the, on the way out, I got killed. So I don't know if it counts. Or whether you have know. to make it out For of the Zeus, maze. For Zeus, can you... Are you shooting... Um, are you bolts. shooting lightning bolts now? Nobody shoots anything but normal no. things. Little dots. Everybody just shoots dots. <laughs> we will defeat this game. It's almost done. Couple more things to do. Playing it really unsafely. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Do I want that? I don't care. I don't need it. Ah! Let's go on this side. Ah! It's so fast. Hi, Pixel. How are you doing? Big yawn. There you go, RC7E. Nothing. There's nothing in here. Am I going the wrong way? wrong way? Is it already... Did I get everything? Should I assume I've gotten everything? Should I continue looking through this maze? from this direction. How do you spell surreptitiously? Oh my god, why are you using that word? S-E-R-E-P yeah. E-P, that's it. Are you spelling it like syrup? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that doesn't seem right. Doesn't it? S-E-R-E-P? You're doing it on your phone, does it not give you a correction? Sarah. I can't think of a synonym for that. Surreptitiously? Syrup? 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 S E R E P. S E. T I T. S E R E P T I T. T. I O U S L Y. Doesn't come up as a word, but that looks right. Some words are not in dictionaries and their real words. I encounter that all the time. Then I look it up in Google and it's like, yeah, that's the right spelling. And your your spell check does just doesn't doesn't have that word. And it's like super common word. Not super common, but it's like a word. I think I've got the bolt. I can't find the dog anymore. Oh my god. Oh my god. At least it was at the entrance. That doesn't sound right, sir. Look, right. look it up on Google then. Damn it. Look it up on Google. Just running for it. Running for it. No. Syrup. 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 S-U-R-R. S-U-R-R. Yes. That makes sense. Oh my goodness. That looks right. Surreptitiously. Not surreptitiously. Hmm. I swear I've been through all of these passageways before. All of them. And this just goes over, down, and then down, and then to the right. No, nothing. Uh, there's nothing in here. I think I've. I think I've got it. I can't find anything else in here. Pixel, come up here. Come up here. Come to the pillow. Come to the homebrew pillow. There. Good kitty. 
Good kitty. Help me get this. Help me find the dog in this maze. Hey, sorry. You finished spelling surreptitiously? <laughs> yes. Is that your thing you had to text? Yes. Okay. Oh, finally, I found it. Okay. Was this all for nothing? No, do not run into that dog. One hit and you're dead. Oh my god. Words that are hard to spell. <laughs> so, that that your um autocorrect doesn't I did help get you with. It. What? That's where it was. What? Right there. Oh it was. Zeus. Yeah. But I was wondering Oh, if you had completed if it. If I die. So I think now getting, getting out. Well I guess I'll just die. Oh don't she die. Missed me. This maze is really hard. <laughs> Try to kill one of them. You can't uh but Fair. then she'll kill you. That's true. Cool. Two hits. There okay. you go. <laughs> so now go for the uh, main guy. Shouldn't I go for the dragon and get the fleece? Oh, maybe. Yeah, I know exactly. What the Unless is. that's a well, we'll find out if that's a. Which one's a dragon? That that, that one. Far one, I think. Oh my God! Get out of my face! <laughs> <gasps> yeah. Stop guarding the dragon. Oh. Goes after you. Oh there you God. go. So it's down two and then over all the way to the right. <clears throat> so I've so been learning so all about yeah. asynchronous play fields mm -hmm. <laughs> and the timing on them and how that it's very, very, very difficult to put player characters on asynchronous playfields okay. on Atari 2600 Is that games. for you, the game you're developing? Yeah, because uh, my game involves an asynchronous playfield. Or uh, not, not asynchronous, asymmetrical. 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 Not asynchronous. That's very close, but... Out of sync. <laughs> out of sync, no. Sort of. Yeah. Um, asymmetrical. Mm. Because you have to constantly be updating the play field mm. because of how cheap the there uh, it is the people who oh my god i didn't how do you how do you get the firebolt the fire yeah because you got zeus so shouldn't you be able to kill him now maybe not well i can't so i don't know maybe he is immortal like it doesn't matter yeah but he's not even a threat that's like... weird and can you get it now no, nope. uh, you still can't get it. So whatever I'll it is, get... it can't be that important. <laughs> okay, I'll go after the last guy now. Yeah, Typhon. Do I have all the rewards? Yeah. All of them? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Zeus, Hades, Hephaestus, Athena, Apollo, Artemis, Hermes, Poseidon. Yeah, you've got them all. Okay. You've got all the gods' powers. The only thing is a golden fleece doesn't seem to work. But no. you got Pegasus and the golden apple. Yep. Uh, can you shoot the dragon in the back with the bolt? I don't know how you use the bolt. I tried shooting him in the back last time, but I didn't have the but bolt. My so question I'll try is, that. is you have a bolt, so how do you use the bolt? Does it say? Hades well, gives get, the god gives you his powerful thunderbolt. Okay, that's it. That that's all it says, and okay. it, your your shot doesn't seem to be any different. Though. I'll shoot him in the back then. There we go. No, it goes through him. He is still immortal. And it doesn't look like Thunderbolt. It doesn't look like your shot has changed. No. I don't quite get it. Hmm. Nothing. And it just passes through them. And a normal yeah. a normal guy it it, it uh, does hit it them. hits them. Yeah. Interesting. So I think it's a bug. The Golden Fleece doesn't have anything that you really need anyway. well it just transports just, you out just but... transports you out to the exit immediately yeah. so it's handy but it's definitely not an offensive or defensive thing mm. so... all i can think of is you would have to go back and kill typhon what is typhon he's the main bad guy oh yeah yeah that's the last thing because you you get past him to get um Which poseidon I to get got. your ship you have but, to get that immediately but he must be your final Dude, I don't know. I would think so. Yeah. 
So we tried shooting him in the back, tried shooting up front. Yeah, that's funny. I mean, pardon me, you can get the Golden Fleece regardless, unless there's something we're missing about the shooting? You got Zeus. No, uh, it won't let you go back? Or? It's finicky. Oh. No, maybe not. Get out of here! <laughs> Why is it... I'm go Oh, I'm going to go over in this. Oh, watch out, I'm going in there. Okay, oh, tricked you. <laughs> so this guy's like immediately right away yeah and he doesn't go away he doesn't go away he doesn't shoot as much you might want to get around him oh uh, i do yeah you want to get as much be distance close to him oh he does shoot from that side too that's fine i'll yeah. have more oh. Oh. I wish you could tell how much you have to hit someone. It was coming really... for you, too. <gasps> yeah! Woo! Oh! Yeah! That's satisfying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you win. Oh, I have. That is nice. With 3,308 points. <laughs> <laughs> I like oh, that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I like that. So that is like Pantheon. Good job. It's beautiful. It is there's gorgeous. The Golden Fleece, there's definitely a little issue there. But uh, other than that, it seems to work the way it should. And yep. as you say, I think a little bit of faster vertical movement, if it's possible, I think that would help, would help you with, want with, to shoot the yeah, enemies. Exactly. Because you can actually and avoid, engage. Yeah. avoid their shots. Yeah. Um, but as if it's... So what was the thing the dragon was protecting? It was the a golden, golden fleece, fleece, which allows you to exit a level immediately. Yeah. Which would be very handy by pressing select. Yeah, but um, for some but reason... But you don't need it, no. but you can't get it either. It do, Yeah, it's there's broken. some kind of some kind of bug there. I think yeah. you probably have to defeat the dragon to get it, but because I can't defeat the dragon, I can't it, get the fleece. But it's called an immortal dragon, so... Yeah. Maybe you just have to get by it. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> So uh, he does have some line count nice. issues, so that's Are why there I can't. A few? That's why I can't play it on the actual Atari. Oh, I see. And Sater's faction has a lot of issues with line count, and he doesn't understand how to solve them. Yeah. So if anybody out there could please help Sater's faction oh. understand, you know, solving line count issues in Atari Basic. Because these games are really, really good. They're very cool. But that's yeah. one thing you can't you can't quite figure out where they're coming in and how to solve them. Mm. So please reach out to Sater's Faction mm. on the Atari Age forums, and um, I, that's really all he has. He has awesome game concepts, awesome art, mm. um, like great layout, everything. Everything's amazing in his games, except you can't play them on an actual Atari because it just goes flip, 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 flip mm -hmm. all over the place. Um, so we'll be playing his local hero two, uh, on an upcoming show mm. soon ish. I don't know when, but on, um, upcoming show. So, but he's still got a lot of line count issues with that one. So we'll probably be, if he doesn't figure that out in time, we'll play it in a emulator as well. Mm. There you go. That is the show today. Mm hmm uh we played crazy tunes which is a fun two-player game that uses audio highly recommended downloading it um if you have another pe person to play with um oh it's so much fun yep even uh that single player game at the end the fourth one where you're tracking something down by audio that's still fun one player game yeah uh dive kick very very cool little game for two players as well Jump kick, jump kick, jump kick. Yes. Really cool. And I hope he continues on with that one. Adds a little bit more complexity and some sounds. And round it out, I think he could uh, possibly sell that one on cartridge if he adds just a little bit of polish. Well, yeah. 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 It's I, very I, I, simple, but it's pretty cool. It's and pretty fun. I'm still or if he adds wrapping my brain around the jumping and the kicking, <laughs> but yeah, it's I, really cool. Yeah. Uh, especially if it adds an AI. If he's able to add an AI, just even a simple one. Of course, AI is never simple. True. Um, that just jumps and kicks. <laughs> There's only two <laughs> things it can do. Three things. Jump, jump backwards, jump and kick. Yeah. <laughs> but still, it's hard. 
Yeah. INV Plus, uh, if you like Space Invaders, you'll love that. It's a very accurate representation of Space Invaders um, with low resolution graphics to be able to mm. handle the right number of Space Invaders. Uh, River Rampage, somebody please pick up the torch and continue on with that game and make it into something like a bullet hell shooter. It It's all there for you to continue on. It just needs, you know, detection, hit detection, that's it. <laughs> and some and some movements and stuff, but it's all the basics are there. And I believe he posts all his source code. Nice, nice. Um, and Pantheon, which we won, uh, which was a lot of fun, a great style to yeah. it. I love it. I love, yeah, it's a beautiful game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, did the shooting in the back work? No, nothing did. <laughs> I couldn't kill the dragon. Yeah. I don't think you can kill the dragon. He's an immortal dragon. Or, uh... Maybe not, but we, we won the game without it, so... You don't yeah. need to do that part, but yeah. I think there's a slight bug there he needs to look at. Yeah. yeah, some little thing. But overall, I would say the game was pretty complete. Oh, uh, yes. So, very. yeah. So thanks uh, for tuning in yes, today. Thank you. Um, our uh, Dan AVC, RC70, VHZC, Kev Kelly, Blue Swimmer. Thank you for your game. Mm -hmm. um, Ice Bosta, Jupiter Storm 17, Pack Rat VG, S. Ramirez 2008. Who else? Mark Space Inc. Did I say Kev Kelly? Probably. S. Ramirez. S. Ramirez. Omega Matrix 2600. Thank Lovely. you for yes, your game. And your game, Tons too. Tons of fun. Yeah, awesome. Splendid Lance, nuts. Lance Armstrong. <laughs> Great name. That's a new person. Welcome. Cafe Man 2D. Splendid nut. It's mad. S. Dot Madness. Wonder why did it do that? That's weird. Looked at the dot. Uh, uh, who else? Muddy Funster. Muddy Funster. And that's Outrunner C. Oh, Outrunner C. Yeah. And Captain Classic. Nice. Oh, miss the show. Yeah. Miss the complete show right, yeah. at, the <laughs> right yeah. at the end. Yeah, check us out on YouTube after. Mm -hmm. uh, next episode, we're going to be playing VHZC's new update to Iran. He had us added a whole bunch of new enemies in there. Oh, nice. Lots of great graphics update. It's awesome. a release candidate version, so it's pretty much just hunting for bugs at this point. Yeah. Uh, we'll be playing some older games Solar Plexus, Smiley, Zirconium, and Amoeba Jump. <gasps> Our last chance at Amoeba Jump high scores. Oh, So that'll nice. be a lot of fun. Then uh, in a week, we'll be playing Slime Atari Ball, Skateboarding, and some mystery ones. I don't know yet. Uh, then Silhouette, Rainbow Invaders. Then the first entry for Galagon, trying to get some high scores mm -hmm. in the Harmony games. Then after that, PWR. I O A I T M O T F. <laughs> Don't know what it stands for yet. I'm sure I'll find out. Push, Trucker's Revenge, and some more to be determined. And at the end of the month or early next month, we'll be having a spotlight on Thomas Yanch and uh, to celebrate his Robot City retail release mm. on cartridge that's coming out in July. Um, so that is a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. And if you have suggestions for games that you'd like to see us play that we haven't, or even play again that we haven't in a long time, or you'd like to see us win a game, because sometimes we can actually win games if we try hard enough. Right, Atari? Sometimes. Atari is here for emotional support. If yes. he cheers us on, sometimes yeah. we can finish games. Hey? Yeah. Yes. Came just for the end. Yes. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's purring. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, comes in and makes an appearance yes. right at the end. Yes. Hey, guys, did I miss the show? Yeah. <laughs> you did completely. Just like Captain Classic. You'll have to watch it on YouTube. Yes. Uh, so that's it for today. Um, we'll be back on Sunday with some more Atari 2600 goodness. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be playing Amoeba Jump, which is your favorite game too, isn't it? He loves it. Jumping around. Mm hmm um, so thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on Sunday. Yes. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, bye. Have a good week.